What is up, Mario Kart gamers? Welcome back to May Day May Day. Uh, welcome back to everyone who turned into the who tuned into the last war between uh, American Gunslingers and Noob Reborn. Congratulations yeah. to AGS kicking off season fourteen with a win. But now we have the runners assemble grand finals with the real Panas versus Arcanum. Yeah. What do you have to say, Miles? What's up? I mean, it's going to be a really interesting match. You know, we got really, really solid lineups on both sides. So it's going to be definitely interesting to see kind of how this goes. Uh, I see a little typo on Arcanum side. It says Alejandro. Uh oh, Alejandro. <laughs> 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 so yeah, Arcanum's carry is definitely Alejandro. Uh, he's, he's a very good player. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's um, it's it's gonna be interesting to see. You know, we know Fran kind of stays in the back and uh, pulls a lot of shocks for Arcanum, so he'll be putting in some work back there. And then Kevo is honestly the the strongest runner that we have on the board. You know, he's oh really yeah, quick, like really Kevo really quick clearly player. the best player in this room. It is not close. Yeah, for sure. Like Kevo's just really good at this video game. He I is. Think he has people on his side who can keep up with him, mm -hmm. but they're probably not gonna score as many points as him. Exactly, exactly. You know, it's, <laughs> it's very, very good. To, yeah, they're just going to be often to play kind of the protection role so you can just break away. Yeah, and you know what? Not to discredit Arcanum. They have people who can keep up too, right? Uh, I'm looking specifically at my boy Alejandro, um, but also Di Diego yeah. XT. Yeah, he's like, been grinding. He's really been grinding. He's He's gotten a lot better in the last couple of seasons, you know? We've seen him kind of grow from from being in KA, and then yeah. he's been grinding some lounge out, getting his getting his skill up to par. So yeah, he's he's definitely going to be a really good runner and support. Same with uh, Keo. Keo is also really quick in in front, and so is Light. So it's going to be interesting to see kind of how these players uh, can support their team. You know, we Those have. Uh, I'm not I'm not too sure about Diego or Sergio on TRP because I haven't seen them play but i've definitely seen um pana and hydra in lounge quite a bit you know they're they're both very good very 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 good in the front i'm seeing in the chat actually that a light is being subbed out by axel so okay okay little bit of an amendment on the lineups uh, we still got alejandro in though so don't worry about that i see um, i see i want to talk more about diego man diego xt because in my opinion Diego XT is like one of the most underrated players in the community right now. Exactly, exactly. And and I, 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 I'm, I'm saying that without exaggeration, honestly. Like, he was he was a player on KA who wasn't named Kevo, so he didn't get much recognition, right? Like, yeah. Before this season, Cartnita Asada was literally just like the Kevo show. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But Diego was also there, right? Diego was also there. He was scoring pretty well compared to the rest of that team. Yeah, and now that he's on Arcanum, he's like keeping up with Alejandro, mm -hmm. who is previously known as like a super hard carry for this team. Like, oh yeah, Arcanum's Alejandro plus five. It isn't. It isn't. Yeah. Diego is like at that level now, and people don't yeah. recognize it yet. Now they're now so they're I'm, kind of I'm super excited to see though. what he's gonna do. Yeah, for sure, it's gonna be interesting. Yeah, it's really uh, cool to see have... how how far these these teams have come. You know. Yeah, and like like how much work they put in together, really interesting. What, what were you saying? Go ahead. We also have Claw in this lineup, who definitely has some higher div experience. Um, I'm not sure what his previous team was, but that's a name that's been around for quite a while now. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm hearing from our stream host that my mic is a little staticky, so I'm going to try to plug it into a different USB slot. See how that goes. I think it sounds fine, but um, yeah, I, I I get I get what you mean. Kind of goes goes in and out like it does when it peaks, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. anyway, we'll, we'll, see, we'll see if that improves anything. Um, on the TRP side, sounds we the have same. <laughs> pretty, pretty interesting lineup, honestly. Um, obviously, yeah. Kevo, former teammate of Diego XT, uh, Cartnita Asada boys. Um, Kevo, the strongest player in this room on paper, probably in practice too. Um, TRP also has people like Hydra and Pana who are consistently up there in terms of like the lounge scene uh i don't want to call them lounge mains but you know they're they're definitely grinding tier c and oh, yeah. tier a b uh, yeah, you see them there a lot, lot there. yep 
And you have kind of the two dark horses in this lineup, uh, Ethan, or Ambivalent World, and Diego. Um, Ethan, previously on Zodiac's uh, Sunset before that, I would say Actually, also kind of an underrated player. I, I would say yeah, that. Um, definitely, definitely is. He's someone who can run very well. He's also someone who can beg very well. He can pull a ton of shocks in war. And honestly, I think the only thing keeping him down in this lineup is the language barrier. I was thinking I think, that, yeah. Because he doesn't speak Spanish. I know that. Um, okay, okay. I was going to so ask, it's gonna yeah. So it's going to be very basic call-outs with Ethan, if anything. But I, I know he's a strong player. I know he can keep up in this room. We're going to have to see if he opts to run or beg more in this war. He's mm-hmm. he's kind of known to score either 120 or 40. Yeah. <laughs> it's depending on, you know, what he decides to do. And exactly, exactly. Yeah, so he's kind of we'll we'll cracked in either department, though, you know. We'll see yeah. kind of the work that he puts in. But definitely, like you said, the comms is going to be difficult because TRP is a primarily Spanish-speaking team. You know, I know, I know for a fact quite a few of them don't speak very much English, if any at all. So it's going to be very interesting to kind of, yeah. kind of see how um, Ethan's going to be communicating with the rest of his team. Yeah, for sure. And I, I think it's they honestly need to treat it similar to having like a Japanese guy in lineup, right? Yeah, like it, yeah. It's that level of communication of just like, okay. Uh, I'm, I'm wondering. On, I'm wondering on, if he's uh, if he's uh, muted. Shot, that's about it, right? Yeah. If it's if it's muted or if it's just very basic comms, that's kind of what I wonder always when there's a player in lineup that doesn't like speak the same language as the rest of the team. Yeah. So obviously we're not going to be able to hear the call ourselves, but we'll have to see what they end up doing with that. And finally, of course, we have Diego in the lineup. Um, previously in IF, uh, IF IF one, I believe. Very strong player. Oh, obviously. gotcha, gotcha. It's that Diego. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Diego G, I think. Yeah. There's a lot of Diegos in this community. You know, I always get I always get them mixed yeah, up. There's a, there's a lot of Diegos. There's two in this room. <laughs> Man, like that's, that's Diegos true. Just from Peru. That's yeah. true. I didn't, yeah. I, even looking at the lineups, I didn't even realize that there's a Diego on each side. But yeah, very interesting to point out. <laughs> too many Diegos. Altogether, too many people named Diego. Yep. Um. But yeah, obviously a very strong player. He was on some very strong teams in the past. Haven't seen too much of him in TRP so far. He joined pretty yeah. recently, I think since the last MKU season. So uh, him and Ethan haven't really had a chance to prove themselves in this new team yet. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, Kevo maybe, obviously proved maybe, himself maybe. last night. Oh, for sure. For sure. Yeah, this will... This will definitely be the match to watch if they really want to, you know, prove themselves. So we'll see kind of how the the direction of things go. Yeah, starting off picking a, we got a, looks like Arcanum hosting, obviously, because they opted to pick RWS. So yeah, we'll see if they can hold their top spots, I guess. Yeah, and it looks like Kevo's stream has not yet started. Okay. Um, or if it is started, it's like not showing gameplay right now. Um, so we're going to try to get that one figured out. But uh, for this race, we are going to be looking just at Fran, an inward POV on Mario Stadium. Yeah. Uh, sorry uh, for the... I, I misspoke. Uh, we're watching Fran's, not, not Fran. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a couple of typos <laughs> coming out early. <laughs> <laughs> we got Alejandro and friends in this lineup. So. <laughs> Man, little little TRP bias on our side, maybe. I don't know. Okay, okay, there we go. Just friend now. Just friend. Oh, perfect, perfect, perfect. There we go. Yeah, it says offline for me. Yeah, I don't think MKC is live. Yeah. Yeah, MKC is not live. Okay. Oh wait, yes we are. Okay, okay. We're live. Nice. Okay. Yep, I see it. I see it. I have wow. an ad right now. Though. Well, okay. Alejandro is the MVP right now, so congratulations oh, on wow. getting first yeah. that race. Yeah, that's all we know so far. I'm sure he worked yeah. really hard to get the first place there. Yeah. Second for Kevo. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like two, Pretty two, much three, expected. Two, three, four so for TRP. Far. Two, three, four for TRP. But a uh, first for Alejandro. Yeah, looks like might be a one five because I think that guy Axel is a me main. Did I say one three five? I meant to say one five. Yeah, just one five for Arcanum. Yeah, yeah, just one five for Arcanum. 
But yeah, it might be an even race to start. Not sure about the spots though, fortunately. No idea what the spots are. Um yeah. early first for my boy World, aka Ethan. Oh yeah. Uh, I like keeping second and oh oh I didn't even notice. Ali is or Kevo is actually streaming now. We're watching Kevo. Okay. Yeah, sure. nice, nice. Yeah, I was wondering if you were thinking that uh Fran's on Wiggler. <laughs> yeah, honestly I didn't even think about it. Interesting play going for that green snipe and throwing his defense away. Yeah, kind of rough so far. Uh, first place is yeah. the Wario. Not sure who is on Wario right now. Yeah. No, Wario is where is Alejandro? Oh, okay, right. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that. Ooh. It, it's two uh, TRP though. Yeah, yeah. I'm that wondering was if that was worth probably, it. You know, I guess we'll have to see. It's probably just about even. Even. Yeah. I guess. I'm thinking um, that, yeah. Kind of just increases the breakaway for the top spots. Um, definitely, Alejandro definitely. Definitely has some space right now. Yeah. And Fran, Ethan is going pretty slow. I wonder if he got hit or if they have shock. Mm, good question. Yeah, getting the blue, blue out. out. for Ale. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, we've got quite a few mixed spots from both sides right now, but TRP is looking for a come up. And, uh, and looks, like, looks like Alejandro was hit out because the Warrior is kind of in, in third right now. And TRP with all of these like mid to top spots. Fire, gotta be careful. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that trail. Deadly trail. Fire but did yeah. not connect. Kevo's gonna get trailed. Uh, like Arcanum yeah, is still in first right now. Arcanum, yeah. Maybe a 1 3, maybe a top 2. I. Oh, okay. Uh, looks like 1 4 right now for um, Arcanum. 1 3 now. Fran has got to be careful of whatever Ethan pulls here. And the red decides to back it. Not going to connect. Yeah. Going to be a 1-3. Yep. Going to finish with a 1-3 for Arcanum. Oh, uh, we see. Yeah. Oh, a lot of bottom spots for TRP. Okay, okay, okay. So all, all, right. of you, all of you who thought this would be a free win for TRP, kind of kind of eating your words right now. Um, yeah, oh yeah, absolutely. I think, I think Arcanum as a team is very heavily underrated. Yeah. I do. Like... They're historically kind of a low div team, right? They started yeah. as crazy cart in division eleven of twelve, so kind of out of nowhere, like they're in D five. Yeah, they're, absolutely. They're chilling. They're they're pretty good. <laughs> yeah, they're improving it right now. Yeah. Um, they're absolutely and, you know, a great team. Yeah, yeah. And based on the spots, right? Um, like the overall spots, I think Arcanum probably won the first race too. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah, we have okay, we have a screenshot of the first two races now. Um uh, that looks like just the just the second race right there. It's just the second race, but we have all the points on with these. So we okay. should be able to get some spots in eventually. Um sorry that we don't have more details than zero yeah. zero, but, but I think I think Arcanum is winning for the time being. Yeah. Either way, regardless, it's gonna be a close match because both of these teams are severely underrated in their divisions. Oh yeah. <clears throat> But yeah, yeah I think gonna, both of these gonna teams... a, not going to be an easy breakaway for Ale or Kevo on both sides because they've got some really you good know? support for 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 both teams, you know. Yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, last night obviously we saw Kevo drop like a one fifty or whatever crazy score he got. Um, oh, really? Not really I living up to that right now, and I think a, I think a lot of that is coming down to the fact that just Arcanum is stronger than the team they faced last night. Like, Kevo isn't going to get these free breakaways. And, yeah, getting trailed right away? Yeah, definitely, definitely. If you're yeah, not able to just start every race in first and break away, like, it's much harder to get those super high scores. Absolutely, absolutely. You know? But, yeah, opting to bag, we got TRP in bottom two right now. Bottom three, even. Yeah, oh, unfortunate. Um, as we're talking shot. about Kevo not being able to free run, he's literally in last place. Yeah. Oh, and we got Fran in the back as well, kind of keeping an eye on the bottom spots. As TRP is three of the bottom four at the moment. Yeah. If I was Fran, I would definitely stop at this set, even if we didn't really need yep. shock, just to see oh, yeah. what they have. Absolutely. And Ethan doesn't have anything yeah. for the time being. We are going to see some Very... banging. And the blue coming out. Yeah. Oh God, what's he holding? Stream quality isn't great. I don't know what that is. Star. It looks like a star to me. Yeah, oh, we'll I think it's a golden. Yeah, yeah, it was a star. star. It was a star. Yep. Okay. Yep. 
So kind of uh, yeah. opting to try to come back up into the pack, uh, not staying. In yeah, the it, interesting coming up so quick with no. Oh, okay, okay. okay all, right. all right, all right, all right. He's staying back. No one can see it back here, but it's very easy to assume based on the fact that he's. Yeah, you know, now Ethan is seeing. Heads. Oh, Ethan dodges uh, and last. Like to really okay. call it out, yeah. Yeah, for sure. So we'll yeah, see very good how much benefit. Brand. Yeah. See how much benefit Arcanum is able to get from that. Um, this is kind of yeah. Fran's job on this team. If you watched uh, last night when we streamed the quarterfinals with uh, ABA versus Arcanum, Fran was doing this a lot, right? He would just chill in back, we would switch to the other P POV, and then we'd come back and Fran is just holding shock. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. He, he, he just kind of gets it sometimes. I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, you know, some of these players are just really good at pulling shock, you know? They really yeah. know their they're, they know their distances, for sure. It's definitely Fran's, uh, Fran, Fran's purpose on this lineup is to be the guy who can pull shock, and he definitely can pull shock. Yeah. Ooh, top three, five for Arcanum. That shock obviously helped quite a bit. Yeah, but, unfortunate uh, yeah. 10 last. It's not as yeah. huge of a race as it could have been, just because those bottom two couldn't catch up in time. But, Absolutely. I mean, hey... You're not going to complain about a top three. Exactly, and especially with Poland Shock, that was perfect for them. Kind of what they needed there. Yeah, Arcanum's up 14 right now going into race four. Uh, it's actually up 30 for Arcanum right now. Oh, re oh really? Okay. Yeah, it was, it was up 14 after two. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, well, my mistake. So... But uh, yeah, they've definitely, you know, solidified their front presence. Let's see if they can kind of hold it down or if TRP is going to be coming up with a nice comeback throughout the rest of the match. So, you know, TR TRP doing a little trolling right now. Uh, going, going for the, the pocket SA pick. Um, yeah, that's an interesting in, pick. In 467. Uh, pretty yeah. good spots for that track, in my opinion. Um, really? No. So you, you would have picked that. Okay. <laughs> no, yeah, no. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, see, Kevo's got the right idea. You know, he's like, guys, yeah, I think Kevo's hard back. But everyone's yeah, like, eh, nah, I think we're going to go to the airport. We're going to we're gonna take a flight <laughs> right straight to the front and see, see how that's going to work for us. You know, Kev Kevo, a carry in more ways than one. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Carry in the back and friend. a carry in the front. Right, exactly, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I mean, you know, it doesn't matter. Arcanum gets their pick right here. Arcanum's pick kind of screwing over Fran as an inward main, uh, but he's starting last, so it shouldn't matter too much. He's disadvantaged from that alone. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see if he opts to bag right off the bat, you know. Really Looks hard like he's going to at least try to get up to the front. He's definitely heavily disadvantaged here, though. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, this is one of the worst, if not the worst, tracks for inwards. Definitely he's, the he's, worst. Staying definitely the worst he's, he's staying in there. He's staying up there. Oh, but I mean, Super Bounce will lose you a couple spots, you know. That's that's gra that's granted for sure. Looks like Diego and Fran are the only um, Arcanum up here. Oh, Ali, Ali is right next to him. Okay. All credit so, yeah. to Fran. I mean, he went from last to fifth, and he's staying up in fifth after lap one, which is not something you really expect to see from for an sure. inward main on Music Park. Like, mm -hmm. gaining spots at all is kind of a struggle if you're on this kind of combo. Yeah. And we have Cavo up in fourth. Uh, the two three from Arcanum. Kevo gonna outline a bit. Get those yep. triple greens out. Diego also has triples. Gonna be impossible to hit him for now. Ooh. Oh, and the super bounce kind of failing a little bit there will cost him a little bit of time, giving two three the breakaway that they need just a bit. But uh, yeah, it's definitely mixed spots from both teams up front. It's gonna be he's interesting. Still got on first. Person. Yeah, yeah, he's holding it down. Throwing all those greens. Get a new item. None of them are gonna connect. Yeah. And really, Kevo's unable to pass right now. Uh, Diego still has these triple bananas rotating. Oh, where did Pana go? Oh, did I'm not sure. Something? Yeah. He either got hit or Ooh, failed. Oh, that lag top right two, there. Top two broken away from uh, Arcanum at this point. Uh, Sergio Maybe coming up in a bill. We'll see what he has after. Oh, a star. Can't really put much work in there. Yeah, Ale's kind of holding it down with a red in second. And the oh, shock to from shock Sergio. Okay, yep, okay. Yep, yep, yeah. That's a TRP shock for sure. So Sergio ah. most likely going to pull into first here. Kevo kind of getting screwed over. Oh, yeah. Uh, a lot of TRP uh, up here, though. Okay, okay. I only lost one spot from that. I was wondering how that was going to end out. Oh, top two. Top two. Oh. Top, how did they pull that off? How did they pull that off? That's crazy. That's crazy. 
Did, did we not all see Sergio dodging a star in third? Absolutely. So that must have what? been an Arcanum shock, you know? It's what hard happened? to say. I definitely saw... Um, no way! No way that was yeah. an Arcanum shock. I don't know, man. I saw Axel Ooh. dodge, and then I saw Sergio dodge. So, I mean, either way, whoever shock it was, it was a good prediction from the other team. I don't, I don't know how the hell that happened, man. Like, yeah, 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 hard to say. Sergio should have gotten first there. Something crazy was happening that oh, we could I see. agree. Maybe Axel had some reds in pocket after his dodge. I don't know. That's probably I my guess. guess. I don't know. I, yeah. I thought that was a free first for Sergio, but no, uh, yeah. he came top two winning the race. Yeah, especially because he had that. He used that dodge right there at the last set. Oh know, like yeah, like that, that had to be a TRP shock. There's no way. Yeah, yeah. And there you go, my my underrated guy, uh, Diego XT with the crown. I told you all. I told you. Yeah, man. Underrated as hell. He's proven himself. He is. He is. And Arcanum oh, yeah. as a whole is really proving themselves right now. They're up 36 yeah. after four. The point spread is really close right now. You know, it's 16 points within first and last right now. So it's it's definitely going to be oh another God. nail biter of a match. <laughs> Miles, you're such a lounge maid. Of course you automatically calculated. Man, I mean, it's 36 to 20. It's quick math, you know. Oh my Gotta God. look at it like that. <laughs> Oh, such a lounge main, right, right. You know, right. If, if if you're the LVP right now, you got to be thinking, uh, you're only 16 points off of MVP. Exactly. Uh, you can still definitely not get sixth in this 2v2 yeah. right now. I mean, I'm 11 points clean, or I'm, I'm 11, I'm 11 days clean from lounge, you know. Oh, but I, I, still, I still got that, I still got that mentality. You I don't know, know. I, I might be canning up tonight. We'll have to All see. All right, you know, yeah, who knows? Well, we, 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 might, we might have to, we might have to make an appearance. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Kevo off to a, a quick start. Outlining the heck out of the room, getting into first, but Fran in second coming up with nothing. Streamer top two. Red not going for Fran, so he's going to keep second for now. Oh, go for the snipe, dude. Please go for the snipe. Yeah. Oh, dude, please hit Kevo. It'll be so good. Oh, man, that'll be such good content, but I mean, I don't think right please. now is the right time. <laughs> oh, no. Do it, do it. Ow! Oh! oh! Just barely oh, misses. Oh, my God. Uh, right out on him. Did he bomb his you know, trail? Maybe? Yeah, uh, I think. no. I was gonna be gone anyway because Fran pulled three reds. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And there nice. Fran is in first. Let's go, Fran. Coming up right now, Diego Top right two behind for him. Arcanum, uh, Diego Kevo in three four for the time being. Oh god, someone's pulling up on Fran. Don't know who yeah. that is. Gonna keep first for now. Yeah. It's gonna be interesting to see if Fran can hold first, you know, because Kevo has a bomb. Yeah, yep. Yeah, he does. But Definitely TRP's really all around him, yeah. Yeah, can't oh, yeah. really do bombs. anything. Yeah, that's what sucks. holding them. Yeah, okay. Diego's up yeah. in first. Uh, Fran kind of losing some time there. I don't know if he got hit or what, but Diego is going to yeah. be getting first to this race. Oh, no. Wait, maybe not. Did he just not? stop on the line? Yeah, I think he might have. I think, I think maybe just... Fran banana sniped him? Is that possible? Oh, no. Yeah, Fran gets first, so one, four, five, six for Arcanum. That Man, definitely looked really like he just hard. stopped. <laughs> yeah, I know. But I mean, I you know, we saw Fran trailing a banana. I'm thinking he might have gone for the snipe, and it really paid off. Maybe. I didn't see any out of that. I just saw it <laughs> slowing down on the line. Well, to be fair, it is a really laggy section of the track, so it's really yeah, hard to say what really happened. And, and hey, lost some spots for it. Anything could be happening. I, I, he probably got hit by something. I doubt that they would be throwing in the finals of a tournament. Yeah, definitely. But man, it really looks like he just stopped on the line. Mm -hmm. It really did. Either way, it looked kind of looked kind of silly for TRP right there. A little bit silly, a little goofy from the TRP side of things. A little, little bit, a little bit. We're gonna we're gonna assume the best. We're gonna assume that he got sniped and we just didn't see it. Yeah. Uh, Ale with the indiv pick. We do not get the indiv Ale pick. Kind of disappointing, Fran. man. Got to pick with the team. Fran said, I'm in first. Let's go to the best inward runner, in my opinion, at least. PPS. Pretty That's popular opinion. Oh, yeah. I know, sure. I know a lot of people who think that. Oh, yeah. I, yeah. I bet I bet in the Arcanum call, it's like, oh, Fran in first. You know what to go. Yeah. I'm sitting on the edge of my seat, hoping that Fran can hold out his first here. Always really cool to see the underdog inward players kind of break away on tracks like this. So... Yeah, where they're actually advantaged instead of just obviously slower, like on so many tracks. Oh, exactly. 
Yeah, I mean, you can see right here, you know, the lines of this track are so tight. Made just right. for too tight. And just like that, a little bit too tight. Lines are a bit too tight on this track, honestly. Yeah. If, if I have to be honest. Um, so Franz in last. Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> They have to assume he, he, the nerves got the best of him there. <laughs> he was running for a hot second there, just being just a not... bit too uh, aggressive with the line spam. Yeah, I think he was really trying to overcompensate for the missed MTs and stuff like that. So unfortunate. Um, luckily Kevo's still behind him, so and he's yeah. gonna get redded in ten. <laughs> Man, that's unfortunate. Yeah, Axel staying back, doing a little trolling there. Just a little bit, a little bit. Teensy weensy, a little bit of trolling. In the back. <laughs> a smidge of trolling. <laughs> An inkling of trolling. Okay, Fran's back up in sixth. Um, yep, yep. Five, six for Arcanum right now. I'll get A ready. testament to the fact that this track oh. is pretty good on Inward, that you can just fall off the track and make it back to the front. Man, those triple reds put in some work there. And bottom two for Arcanum now. Hmm. Um, the me is on the Arcanum side. Yep, that's Axel for sure. Kevo also back here holding a ghost. I don't think there would be a shock in play right now. Forced yeah. into his ghost. Still a star. star. Okay, okay. Of course, of course. A little, little item manipulation for the TRP side. A little bit of item manipulation. I gotta check oh, yeah. that one out. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> We've, uh, and yeah. yeah. Kevo, she's currently got an investigation spot. underway. Yeah. Yeah, this is, this is a really good setup that he has right here. Definitely use the star when the top spots are over glider, just in case, unless he wants to yeah. risk it. Mm. Opting not to use it. Yeah, assuming that the other team doesn't it. have shock, I think they could have been holding it. Risky play from yeah. Kevin's end. But because of that, he doesn't need to chain for a shroom, so he is able to pull up into fourth at the end. Yeah. And top another top two. Five! Man! Arcanum is really putting in some work here. I'm surprised. That's They're proving him wrong. TRP yeah. is bottom four overall. Yeah, proving the doubters wrong, you know, I've heard a lot of people kind of wondering if this was going to push them into the best of three match, the third match, you know, so wondering if Arcanum's going to be able to close this out or if they're going to, you know, force TRP to really kind of pull out all the stops. So it's really I mean, interesting to see kind of how this has started. I mean, Arcanum is up 60 after six. Like, yeah, yeah. They're doing pretty good right now. TRP is going to need to make something change if they want to win absolutely, this first quarter. Absolutely, man. Absolutely. And, you know, luckily for them, it is a best of three. So whatever happens here, like, TRP is still going to have a chance. Mm -hmm. But it's looking really, really good for Arcanum right now. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. See, I'm I'm wondering, you know, why they're not kind of opting to go for the hard baggers. You know, that's kind of what, what I would want to do at this point to, to reset the momentum. What do you think? Totally agree. Yeah, absolutely. I mean... Yeah. DS kind of makes sense for these spots, like three, four, six, maybe three, yeah. four for the draft, but yeah. I don't know. Like they gotta stop Arcanum from getting top twos every race, which is what they're doing right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, up sixty after six is pretty good. Very good, kind of establishing their footing. Yeah, and getting their track pick as well. I'm kind of worried. Maybe Kevo doesn't get a box. I was going to say he might be able to pull a yeah. shroom and get into first, but not getting a box kind of stops yeah. that one from happening. So Arcanum's going to be able to hold their top two for now. Getting the double, though. Yeah, obviously a little bit of miscommunication there. Probably Ally told Claw to take the double, and he said, nah, I'm leaving it. And then Kevo <laughs> got it. So here he goes, coming up into front here. I think the guy in third might have a red right now. I don't know, Kevin wasn't looking back at the moment, but... Yeah, it's hard to say. If he doesn't get hit... Oh, you know. tight banana there. Very good play from Ali. Does not connect, though. Sherman yeah, into if, first here. If, I, if I'm Kevo, I'm so relieved right now, because I know all Kevo wants to do is run. Yeah. And yeah. he just has not been able to so far. <laughs> and, and here Fran we go, Fran blue. Yeah, blue. Right. Of course! Dude, the comedic timing of, like, switching to Fran always has I the know. Time. It's, I it know, happens dude. every time we cast this dude. <laughs> Man, that's hilarious, dude. Every time we switch to friend and he's the he's in the back, he's just holding the exact item the other team <laughs> doesn't need. Oh, TRP coming in to first, though. They've got a kind of clean top two here. This track is truly hell in the mid-pack. You know, it's really oh hard my to God, yeah. get away. Like, top two is so far broken away right now. Everyone yeah, else exactly. is going to be hitting each other. Yeah. So top two should just be able to get further and further away from the yeah. mid-pack. 
barring a shock, it, it almost is safe to say that they're kind of broken away at this point. Yeah, I've, as you say, barring a shock, we 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 got to switch back to Fran and see him yeah. holding a shock, yeah. oh, right? Another blue coming out. Another blue coming no, out. Okay. okay, no no shock quite yet from Fran. No shock for Fran. Let's see if he pulls it here. Yeah. Uh, no. Nope. Okay. Uh, kind of the worst pull going into the S turn here. That golden. Yeah, yeah. Fran is an uninward too. Like Fran is kind of guaranteed yeah. last at this point. Unfortunate yeah. for him. Interesting plant pull in second. Because of yeah, that, like TRP is able to get top two. TRP. Yeah. Maybe the start of the comeback they need. We'll see. Oh, wow. Okay. Three, four, five. Three, yeah, four. I was surprised. I thought I saw Hydra coming up into fourth. But yeah, three, four, five for Arcanum. Kind of nullifying the uh, real quick little comeback there for TRP. Yeah, definitely at least a more even race than the previous ones were. Yeah. And I can really chalk that one up to. TRP being in the top spots and Fran just not pulling what he needed. He got the blue, but I mean, TRP was already really, really far ahead. So, I mean, he, he needed a shock and he just didn't pull at that race. So, plus eight for TRP. Uh, Arcanum still up 52 after seven. And yeah, I'm seeing a question in the chat. This is a best of three. And yep. this is match one of the best of three. Correct, correct. Yeah, I'm looking at the scores and I do not know what that difference would be looking at the, the numbers because I'm just not good at math. But Arcanum is up quite a bit right now going into, what is this, race 8, right? Yeah, Arcanum's up 52. Um, We have the scores in the uh, media staff channel. Right, 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 right. Coming into race 8. Yep. TM, very good nullifier track. Kind of doesn't another, another track that doesn't really matter what you're doing until maybe end of lap two, beginning of lap three. So we'll kind of see how things turn out here. Kevin getting his trail out at the last possible frame. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I didn't even see the animation of like the green coming out. It was just like same. Gone. I thought he was gonna get rid there. Yeah, I did too. Yeah. I'm actually going to step away for just a second. I'll be back in just a couple seconds. Okay, leaving me alone once again. I see how it is. Kevin going for this MT strat, which I don't think I've ever seen anyone else do on this track. I, I didn't even know that was a real strat. But, I mean, it's Kevo doing it, so I'm assuming it's faster. Should we be able to get a red out on Axel here? It's still having a red in third. Teammate, I think, in top two. Yeah, so it's a top three for TRP at the moment. Ton of people taking shock. At least two Arcana members up into that top six. Uh, Claw gonna get hit out. Could do some work with the green here. Gonna have to be careful not to team kill though. Yeah. It looks like he's gonna decide to just throw it off, get a better item. I don't blame him. It would have been really easy to accidentally snipe Diego there. And gonna run into the banana when the blooper is active and Kevo is just getting farmed. Fran has the blue once again, uh, but this time his teammate is in first. Um, Ali's the only Wario in the room. So going to be holding that. Not yeah. much else to look at on Fran's side at the moment. Just holding yeah, blue. Super, super unfortunate just having to hold that blue in the back when you could be chained for shock. You know, but hopefully... I mean, all I can hold hey, out if, is if you're holding blue, at least it means your teammate's in first, right? Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. But As I, I say I'm... that, his teammate is no longer in first because the blue oh. is out. Yeah, blue comes out. Let's see if that connects. Yep, right over glider. That's unfortunate. Yeah, whoever got hit there, their race is over. Exactly. Uh, Kevo oh, should be able to yeah. get some spots. Ooh, the back on Diego. Kevo failing. Ooh. Two, three, four though for TRP. Yellow, two, three, four. Ollie, yeah. Yeah, Ali kind yeah, of carrying the weight that race. Oh my yeah. god, that could have been so much worse. Like if Diego didn't get yeah. hit there, that would have been. Yeah. And that fail was so unfortunate so for Kevo, but unfortunately... Um, no, yeah. yeah, exactly, exactly. I think, like, maybe he could have passed Ali there, maybe. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure, though. I think Ali was yeah. pretty safe in first at the end. Yeah. To be fair, the, the blooper is really unfortunate at that point, so... Oh, yeah, for sure. And, and run into the tree there. Yeah, that was a plus 16 race for TRP, so our kingdom now only up 36 with four left. Mm-hmm. Going for the DS pick once again. It makes a lot more sense for these spots now. And two through five. Yep. Absolutely. 
and Arcanum, not afraid to actually pick bagging tracks, unlike TRP. Mm -hmm. Kevo with the Romania flag. MVP right now with 72, but Ale only one point behind him. Heck yeah. If you're into the into the indivs scene, that's how we stand on that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, look who's talking, Lounge Man. Jeez. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> I was only saying that for your benefit, Miles. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So we got another friend begging race. Uh, Kevo up into first, kind of par for the course at this point. Kevo runs friend bags. Yeah, absolutely. It's going to get redded out. Should be Arcanum in top two at the moment. But also quite a few Arcanum in the back. It's all these middle spots for TRP. Mm -hmm. Getting the red off on Sergio. Yeah. Yeah, this track's easily a, a very common track in lounge. It's always interesting to see kind of how... Oh, yeah, you you would know, Miles. Oh, yes, I would. Uh, I play this one all the time, man. You know. <laughs> Kyle yeah. could do work with these triple nanas. There's at least one Arcanum guy around him. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, um, this is honestly one of my favorite oh! tracks. I didn't even see that bomb. Oh, yeah, me either. I have no idea uh, that bomb was there. Nowhere. Yeah. Kevo, Kevo kind of getting farmed down to 11th at the moment, only pulling shrooms. Yeah, he's kind of yeah. kind of a kind sitting of duck right, right now. now. Yep. Anything could happen to him, and he would have no power to stop it. Bags a quick ninth place box. We'll see what comes up again. Going back to Fran's POV. Going to put in some work Looking here. To high high. Okay. High. Nice. Going to lose some spots by not being able to take the cut and missing double as well. Yeah, oh, he good triple shrooms, though. Up. Good pull, but he's in ninth. You know, we'll see if he can gain enough spots here. Not having to kind of. Amazing position. Yeah, having to wait Fran. for Got to try yeah. to hit someone with this boomerang. Yeah, definitely. We'll see if he can do anything with the boomerang here. Oh, he's all of his. Pull and take the cut. Yeah, I'm going to hold It's actually going to yeah. be a 3 4 5. Actually, you know, Fran dropping to 6. Oh, 2 3 4 2 3 six. 4 5 6. Okay, oh, five, okay. Six. Oh, wow. Everything after first. Kind of the opposite of last race there. Um, yeah, TRP absolutely. getting first and every other spot going to Arcana. Absolutely, yeah. Kind of nullifies that bad TM race. Definitely. TRP. Yeah, and, and it was. Uh, last race was a plus 16 for TRP. This one's a minus 16. So. Mm. We're back to down 52 with three left. Crazy, man. They're going to need some really good races here going to the last three. And Ale, uh, back with the crown. Mm -hmm. the, the real battle of this war. Who ends up <laughs> with the most points at the end? Yeah, definitely. Interesting ED pick from Arcanum. Yeah, ED is not one of my favorites. I'm not sure if I agree with that, honestly. It's not yeah. like... It's not such a strong drafter, right? Like, it's it's a good track for mid-spots, but I don't think you can force draft as much as you could on, like, a gold mine or a Grumble or something like that. Yeah. And I don't remember if DS has already been played this war, but if it hasn't, like, D DS, way better for drafting than ED is. Yeah. But, you know, it doesn't matter. Um, we're going to RMC. RMC is a really good pick for TRP spots, in my opinion. You already know Kevo is going to run and Fran is going to beg, because that's just yeah. what happens. Never mind. Oh, no, he's Kevo's not. Yeah, I was going to say, it's probably against his better judgment, you know? I think he's probably more comfortable bagging this track. Yeah, Kevo is, is definitely someone who will run the running tracks and beg the begging tracks. Absolutely, absolutely. Very, yeah. very confident in like what the meta is for any given track. Exactly. And, and see, that's really cool to me, you know, how, how much the meta has changed over these years. But Kevo has really adapted to kind of what has changed. And yeah, I forgot. What yeah, I was gonna say. And on like a track by track basis, right? Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, you Kevo just does what's best for each track. It's, it's really yeah. crazy. Yeah, 100 percent. It's kind of chilling in eighth for now. No dodge, which is not a position you want to be in and missing yeah. the chain as well. Very unfortunate pull. As someone who is known for pulling exactly what they want, it's interesting to see kind of Kevo <laughs> not getting what he wants. Bro, what yeah. is this slander? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, okay. it's true, man. He knows okay. how to play. TFP calling themselves right into set. Um, 
I, I've got to assume that's a TRP shot because the two of yeah. them are right into last set. Um, yeah. Fran pulling up for the moment. Blue's out. Got to watch out for that. Four, five, three, four, actually, for Arcanum. Yeah. And kind of stuck holding this plant from this point forward because he yeah. has his teammates right in front of him. If he tries to shroom up, he's kind of just going to be left with a plant. I would have opted to take glider and then plant the air. Would have looked cool, at least. Would have worked. Would have worked. I'm not sure how glider goes with inward. I've never done it. Same. I don't really do glider too often, but yeah. <laughs> but he's still going to get fourth and going to avoid team killing. Still a really good race for TRP, though. Yeah. It's like, looks I like think... got mixed spots for both sides. It looks relatively even to me. I think Fran was kind of stuck there. Um, obviously, he couldn't really chain himself. He was stuck holding that plant no matter what he did. Definitely. And I think his teammates kind of took the took the punishment from that because even though Fran was able to keep fourth, his teammates around him did not keep their spots. It was a good race for TRP there. Definitely. But it wasn't an amazing race for TRP. And, that, and that's the issue, right? Because TRP needs amazing races at this point. They're down oh, yeah, 44 but... with two left. So mm -hmm. if they don't win this race by at least six, they can't win. Absolutely. Yeah, it's... <laughs> It's going to be interesting to see how TRP um, opts to play the next match or two, you know, depending if we go into yeah. best of the third match. But, um, yeah, it's, I don't know. It's going to be a couple nail biters for sure. This, yeah, this one is, uh, this one is pretty far in Arcanum's court at the moment. Yeah. It's going to take a lot if TRP wants to win this war. Absolutely. But, I mean, hey, the score goes right back to 0-0 zero, zero at, at the next hour, right? Literally anything is still possible. Exactly. So, 11th race. Uh, if you're a Canum, you just got to go on damage control, right? Yeah. You don't need to be making crazy plays. You don't need to be hard begging for shock unless you're bottom everything. Exactly. All you got to do if you're a Canum is just get one or two top spots. Yeah. Win the race by a little bit or even lose it by a little bit and you're fine. Just keep it, just keep it middle of the road. Keep it nullified, and you're you're good yeah. to finish it off. Just play safe. Absolutely, play it safe is is the way to go. And we got the boy TRP World. Yeah. Ethan can up and first. Yeah. Yep, yep. I you got to assume he's gonna get past. Someone's gonna have a shroom. Absolutely. But for the time being, yeah, there's everyone taking cut. Like here comes here comes all of our kingdom coming up into the top spots. Yeah, having top spots on this track is really deceptive oh, it is sucks you can never, you can never feel safe on this track yeah it does yeah i like really like the top three or four spots could just completely flip every single lap oh 100 percent. just because that cut saves so much time insane snipe very good play yeah i got a got a couple uh arcanum in the back here Let's see if they can actually shot them too yeah to catch up a little bit um even though they have a safety net like the win is not guaranteed at this point. They need some kind of top spots to this race. Exactly, exactly. Blue's coming out. I believe that's going to hit TRP? Not 100% sure, though. Mm -hmm. There are all these middle spots. Um, all we can yeah. really tell from the minimap is that Ale is up there in front. Anything else could be going on up there. A bunch of Waluigi surrounding him. It's hard to say. Someone's kind of stuck behind Claw here. Can't do much about that. Yeah, you're gonna get onto the opposite path. Sucks when you're going fast and the person in front of you and they're just trailing right in front of you. And nothing to, <laughs> yeah, I mean, nothing, Claw was definitely doing that on purpose, but absolutely, absolutely, definitely annoying if you're Kevo in that situation. Annoying, but a good play. You know, it worked in his favor. Yeah. Oh, gonna pull. Kevo's out gonna red. be pulling triple reds out on the cut. Got to be careful not to team kill here. Yeah. Gonna be good. Is he in Claw? He does not hit Claw. Not, not connecting time. Yeah, yeah one. Arcanum wins. Seven for Arcanum, yeah. Closing it out right there. Man, Three Keo. way tie for Keo first. Went okay. Keo went okay. crazy. Before. Keeping up. So I'm uh now I'm excited because uh even though the war's over, we got a three way tie for first going into Absolutely. race twelve. Yeah, the, what in, upset, the end man. of battle is still fully on. Yeah, what an upset. Very crazy to see in this first match. Arcanum is not a team to be underestimated, as we can yeah. see in this match in particular. Arcanum has been really d defying the odds and like they they, they're beating this entire tournament. Yeah. I yeah, think sure. um 
Well, obviously it was it was casted. They they beat ABA by like a hundred or something. Yeah, Even exactly. Yeah. It, ABA I... was projected to win that match, and then mm-hmm. they beat MW. Like that's even though it's not a full strength lineup, like they're it's a yeah. French team not playing at French time. Like that's a D two con, yeah. right? Yeah, they're putting that's it. Like, in yeah, exactly. It's real good. Arcanum is doing very very well in this tournament right now. Yeah, they really are. Yeah, they're definitely established. They're putting. They're they're established. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they've established their footing as a strong team. They've established their footing. Aww, established their footing. Yeah. <laughs> um, but I mean, yeah, you know, it's interesting to see kind of how Arcanum in particular has grown as a team because when I used to be on eight VB, uh, they were honestly really close with us before they got Ale on their side. So you know, now they've kind of gotten up to 8VA's level and they've been able to really keep some close matches and, and contend with, with us I mean, as a team. And they, even, you know, they've done more than contend with us. Yeah, exactly. exactly. <laughs> they've really, really put in work over these last couple seasons. You know, they're, yeah. they're serious underdogs. And all I want is really. them D6. Yeah, shut up, Ollie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, literally. Yeah, <laughs> beating D2 and D3 like pretty handily. Yeah, I don't think that's D6. Yeah. Arcanum, uh, I mean, that just goes to show they're under they're underestimating even themselves. Like, mm-hmm. they're on Absolutely. the come up. Absolutely, they're, they have. They're pretty damn good, you know? Anyway, this track is Kevo's bread and butter. Like, Literally. If, if, he doesn't, if he doesn't win here, I'll, I'd be surprised. This is number 47 for me on my tier list. You know, this is just it's, one of It's not things. very high on mine. Yeah, it's not not a good one. Ooh, oh, getting God, in what? No. oh, that is so unfortunate. <laughs> so unfortunate, man. Dude, he just got robbed. <laughs> Absolutely. Dude, Diego was yeah. fully in first there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. My God. It was obviously out for Diego and just absolutely backfired for TRP there. Oh my God, oh, that was so sad. Jeez, man. I want to cry after that. It doesn't matter. Kevo dodged. Yeah. Oh my god. Gonna opt to turn off the motion as he pulls no shrooms. Oh. It's fired. Oh man. This today is not Kevo's day. Yeah, it looks like that bread and butter indeed did spoil. Oh my oh. god. Okay. So, okay, okay, Zeta, you can't say that because he did not shroom into first when blue was coming. He shroomed into second when blue was coming. Yeah, see, I was thinking the blue was going to split, but it did not oh even. Oh my god, that wow. was so sad. Yeah, so it was. So going to take home the crown, and Arcanum is going to take home game one here. Yeah, yeah. Very, very much robbed. <laughs> very much robbed at that blue. Again, um, uh, the war was already decided at that point. Um, yeah, Arcanum won. Exactly. This is the best of three, so. We are going to be seeing at least one more war between TRP and Arcanum here. Yeah. Um, yeah. Anything you have to say, Miles? I mean, that was a nail biter from start to finish. You know, TRP really had to kind of bring out the big races as Arcanum really established their footing, as I said earlier, as kind of the dominant <laughs> team there. You said. <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh huh. But, anyways, I'm really excited to see kind of how TRP opts to play the next match or two. Yeah. yeah we will see you then. Uh, stream should be staying live. We yeah. will be back at 10 p.m. EST. Definitely. Yeah. See you then. See ya.
All right, welcome back. Hope everyone still has some adrenaline from the last match because we are running it back with TRP versus Arcanum in the Runners Assemble Finals. Uh, Arcanum up one game on TRP right now. And kind of a big surprise for a lot of people. Um, TRP seeded much higher in MKU and I guess in community opinion in general, but Arcanum was really strong that entire war. Yeah. Kind of in their court the entire time. Yeah. Yeah, they were they were really good at keeping their front presence. You oh, know, yeah. we're, it's gonna be interesting to see kind of how, how things are gonna be going for the next couple matches. But uh yeah, it's definitely gonna be a, a little tug of war to see who who's the more dominant team tonight for runners assemble. Yeah, my my prediction here is whatever team gets good races in the first GP is, is gonna win. Mm-hmm. I think that these two teams are both extremely momentum based and yeah. whichever one starts off playing better is just going to carry that momentum the entire war. For sure. It's kind of what happened last time. Um TRP won the first race in the last war, but after that races 2 through 6 were all won by Arcanum. Mm -hmm. Every single one of them. Yeah. It's just once you get the ball rolling and you and you start getting those top spots, when you have super strong runners like both of these teams do, it's hard to get them out, right? Yeah, like for if, sure. If you if you have Ale and Diego starting in top two, it's gonna be hard to hit them out. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And that, no that matter, you know, no matter that, who you have on your side, that proves your point about it about them being quote unquote momentum based teams. If they were able to kind of win one one race on race two and then kind of carry it all the way to race six, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Looking like a similar lineup this time around. Yeah. Um, I, I did hear that Ethan was only playing one match. Yeah, and I that see, was, I see uh, Emilio just in this place. Sorry, who was it? Emilio. Emilio, all right. Yeah, all right. I see Emilio's me in here, and I'm not sure who that uh, female player me is. Could be anyone. Oh, we yeah. got a bald player. All right, all right. Heck yeah. Heck yeah, dude. So... We got some very well-known me's in the room. Female player and bald player. Um, yeah. Short Ale with mustache. Now that's the that's the Pringles, man. Oh, my bad. Yeah, man. <laughs> no, that's, all, that's all I had, though, dude. Now that's, um, um, that's, that's Hydra's me. Oh, for real? Okay. Yeah. He is most certainly the Pringles man. Most certainly, definitely. So we are waiting on nobody. There's 12 people in the room. Go start. Go Come start, on. go win. You can do it. Come on, guys. You can do it. They're waiting. They're waiting. Oh. 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 I do not oh. know who that is. Oh. I think it's probably Sergio. I don't know. It might be. I don't know. Yeah, it might be Sergio. We'll see. We will see. Definitely got Pana. We will see if the host decides to start the room eventually. Yeah. There we go. All right. Uh, oh, so we got Fallon lineup. Yeah. Oh, is that okay? Is that is that who Fallon? Yeah, yeah. Fal that, that's Fal's registry name now. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. So we got Fal hosting. TRP starting uh, with that advantage. See what they decide to go. Um, we are watching Kevin yeah. right now. So okay. TRP yeah, gonna opt for DKJ. Fal is Luis Miguel on Luis Miguel. The man himself. Yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah. And yeah, these are pretty standard track picks. Um, Absolutely. TRP kind of has all the top spots here. They're just going for a runner. Um, Maybe not the runner that I would have chosen, just because it's so easy to bump each other out on that first turn. But a runner nonetheless, and Arcanum going for the track where you can pull Shroom's first set. Absolutely, yeah. These are definitely pretty pretty standard starting tracks. Right. Yeah, looking at the, looking at each spot from from the team. Going for TM and TRP was actually starting top four, so I'm not sure about them picking DKJ there. Like I feel Same like at least here. one of those guys was gonna get bumped out, mm -hmm. but we'll never know. We'll never know. Yeah. So we are once again looking at Fran and Kevo for this match. Nice, nice. Say hello to your old friends. <laughs> you know them well. Oh yeah, absolutely we do. 
friend yeah, offensive right, right, stop right, right. at the first set here. Yep. And Kevo, ooh, getting bumped wide. Watch out for the red. Just team ooh, here. Yeah. That sucks. So even though Fran stopped at the first set, uh, Kevo is already behind him, and actually TRP's in bottom two. Looks like bottom two, bottom three. Yeah, Fran and already has like the sticks, yeah. Yeah. Good Very strategy strong for Arcanum to start. Yep. Oh, yeah. Um, at least 2-3-4 for Arcanum right here. 2 3 four, five even. Someone, sure from, first, someone from TRP yeah. should be Hydra, doing Hydra's shot. up there. Hydra's up there holding down the first. Diego I, coming I feel, up. I feel like TRP needs shock. Yeah, Diego's yeah. gone. He's in already. like fifth, but you know, not yeah. much you yeah. can do. Already, already they, need, they need shock here. Yeah, for sure. Ooh, canceling out the green there. Very unfortunate. You know, up, up into 4-5, I guess. Yeah. Like, I, I guess it's their like position is fine. It might be 1-4-5 right here. I'm not sure if Hydra has been able to hold down the first, but I guess we'll yeah, see. Yeah, yeah. you, you, you see up on the other path there, yeah. Yep. Oh, interesting MT strat. I like that. Yeah, he did that last war, too. I don't know if it's, like, huh. that much faster. Much right? I've, yeah. I've definitely seen him do it before. Ooh, it storm. okay, but, okay. Right, right on top of Kyo, though. Yeah. I was thinking he was going to trail his teammate coming out of the cut, but luckily it was not. So yeah, 2-3, putting some pressure on Diego in first right here. Ooh, the boomerang, yeah. Um, right. It's kind of a lot of Arcanum, but some TRP, I don't know. The spots are pretty mixed. Yeah, I'd go as far as to say there, there's definitely mixed spots here. <laughs> oh, yeah. you would, okay. I would indeed, yeah. It uh, looks like a 10-12 for Arcanum right here. Ale, I'm assuming, is still Wario. Yeah, gotta be. Opting the Ghost. Hopefully gain some spots here. Getting a red. Might be screwing Emilio over? Yeah. No, Fran, in my experience, is kind of known for playing conservative with his items at the at the end of the race. So I wasn't surprised One, to see five, him kind six, of... 6, 8, 10, 11 for Arcana. Very mixed. Um, yeah, definitely. So my I mean, assessment that TRP needed shock was completely wrong. They didn't need shock. Um, yeah. yeah. I just needed to push the front. There we go. It oh, is a plus wow. two for TRP. Very, very even to start off. I'm digging. I'm digging the name. I'm digging the Spanish name for Shy Guy Falls. Casaratas Shy Guy. Oh yeah. I like that. Oh yeah. Very cool. Very cool. Yeah, we're we're seeing the same kind of track picks that we were all last tour here. Um, yeah. DS and Royal. So far. Yeah. DS Diego with the crown. Oh, he did an MVP last match, so he's he's out for blood this time around. He is indeed. Gotta gotta prove himself sometime, man. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Heck yeah. <clears throat> and we are going to Royal Raceway for race yeah. two. Yeah. That's a pretty good one five six pick, I would say. As yeah, far as I agree. Go. I think you it's know, not. It's not too unreasonable for first to keep first on this track. For sure. I mean, I'm, um, more, of, I'm more of a DP3. Possible. I'm more of a DP3 and ribbon enjoyer myself for those spots. But, you know, Royal's obviously not a bad pick in the terms That's of right. strategy. Yeah. Five, six can catch up if they play it right. And first, it's always a bit of a coin flip if first can keep first. But it's not out of the question on this track unless he's just going to fail his line before the first turn. That's yeah. always a possibility. Hey man, um, I mean, you could yeah, say he, he got, got bumped out. out. Yeah, he got bumped out. That's, that's yeah. it. Let's go with that. He did not fail. He got. He simply got bumped out. Yeah. But yeah, it looks like oh, a real quick up. for TRP. Can't see who's in third. I think it's TRP. Uh, yeah. Looks like Q is up here, but uh, TRP's in, in third. I think Q might have gotten back to there, actually. Yeah, he did. Going to be a top four for TRP. So very, very strong from them to start off. Um, yeah, it's just all TRP up here. Um, yeah. We already see Fran in last um, and yeah. Claw in 11th. Like, they're going for it. Yeah. They're definitely going to need shock here. because yeah, got staying in the back, keeping an eye, seeing kind of what's after that bill. Obviously, just a golden. Top, top four is, like, really, really strong, you know? Like, yeah, he, definitely. Arcanum's going to need a shock Yeah, they're chilling. Yeah. Barring a shock, of course. I mean, shock's shock's almost a guarantee on this track, you know. Like it's, 
You know, you know where it's gonna be yeah. used. You know how effective it's gonna be. So yeah, the only but question yeah. is which team is gonna pull it because yeah. Emilio yeah, is exactly. also back there. But that bottom three is such a big gap. Yeah, I think the guy in 10th right now probably has the best chance of actually getting it. The other two are too far back. Absolutely. But, you know, for the time being, we got one POV in first and the other POV begging, so... We're just chilling. No blue, no shock at the moment. Maybe one of them has it after their bill. Doesn't look like it. So, it, unless something drastic happens, this should be a very strong race for TRP here. Absolutely. Yeah, it looks like the shock did not come in, so it's going to be a free top three-ish for, for TRP. Assuming at least a top three for them. Uh, don't yeah. know who the Bowser is. Yeah, I, I, I don't know either. And Fran missing last set, so it's a last for him. Easy, easy. I wonder how good that actually was. Yeah, yeah very important. Six, 10, 10, 11 kind of breaks it a bit, mm. but... Top three makes pretty, it a winning race, though. Pretty strong for TRP there. Absolutely. And, yeah, I mean, if the other team is into top four, like, by the second turn, like, yeah, there's not much you can do unless you do pull a shock, and they just didn't yeah. pull it that race. Yeah. I mean, so the only thing they're hoping is they can get over glider. Yeah. But obviously very strong from TRP to even be able to get into that top four in the first place. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, their front presence there was was impeccable for sure. The yeah, unfortunate um, on Diego getting well, we're we're saying he got bumped out on the first turn. Right, right, um, yeah, that was kind I mean, of having, having any more Arcanum up there would have changed the course of that race a lot. But unfortunately, Absolutely. TRP from the very start. Yeah, oh, getting the RWS pick. Let's see if they're able to break away or if they're going to bump each other out at the beginning. It's always the I... big debate. I'm thinking bumps. I am. I'm thinking they're going to be able to break away. I don't know, man. Yeah. That's, that's what my money's on. I guess we'll have to see. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Kevo's starting in first. Um, You have to assume he's just going to go tight. Try yeah. to get as big of a breakaway as possible at the very beginning. Honestly, if I'm Kevo, I might not even go for coins at all. Just stay on the tightest line possible. Yep, which is exactly what he's doing. Try to get out of the range of being bumped by your teammates. And actually, Ollie's already up to second, so... Rest of them maybe not able to keep that front presence that they had. Yeah, Kevin holding that first, but looks like our is really itching to come up front. We see Diego <laughs> and Ole right behind him. Yeah. Three. yeah. So I think Kevo did make the right play there. Um, going tight, not taking any of those coins. Just get as big of a breakaway as you can at the very beginning. But his teammates weren't able to make the same thing happen. He's going to get double redded out, so it's going to be actually Hydra coming into first. Not what I okay. expected. To do. Yeah, same here. So, should be just second for Arcanum at the moment. Uh, I think Diego's up there, too. But... Yeah, Fran puts yeah, that, back. that top four they had at the beginning just kind of dissolved, as I had predicted. Yeah, yep. Yeah, you were right on that one. Right yeah, on the money. Oh, always right, Miles. Come on. Hey, man. Easy. Mm -mm. Fran doing some work. Uh, coming back up towards the front with a Shroom in fifth. Be able to take cut here. Ooh, reds, reds out. Okay, okay, we're good. Okay, Kevo's All back right. in first. I don't know how that happened, but there he is. Yeah, two, three, putting some pressure on Kevo here. And Kevo with a shroom in first, no less. No protection though. Yeah, no protection. That's scary. I'd be really scared if I was him here. Nothing. Looks like nothing's coming up though, because Fran doesn't have anything either. It's unfortunate for him, but very lucky break for Kevo here. Yeah, no reds here. Looks like Kevin's going to be able to take cut or dodge blue, depending on how it ends at the at the, at the the ending here. Oh, Kevo, Shroom stolen. Defense Kevo back. In a good situation, double reds could ruin it, but I don't think they're going to come out here. Yeah, same here. Looks like it's pretty and, safe here. And, yeah. On the mini map, yeah. Fran getting passed, but second getting hit on the line. 2-3 at least for Arcanum. And just 2-3 for Arcanum. Okay, 2-3, 6-8, yeah. and bottom One, two for them. One four five seven for TRP. They're obviously kind of coming out swinging here. Yeah, the TRP definitely with the upper hand from the beginning in this. Yeah, world. I mean, good for them though. You know, they're taking the momentum and they're running. You know, they really oh, yeah. needed it based off of the last match. Yeah, Kevo, Kevo in particular, able to stay 
if not in first, at least in the front that whole race. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He, he got hit out at some point, but he was just right back up there. Very, very, very strong. It's hard. It's hard to stay up in the front if, once you get hit out on Mario Stadium because everything is so based on running and lines and having that high coin count. So once you get hit, a lot of the time you're, you're pretty much just screwed, but Kevo made it work. Still up there. Yeah. RWS is is one of, if not the most line dependent tracks in the game. You okay. know, if you can break away there, you can really break away. But yeah, Kevo is not playing any games this match. He's on 39 after three going into race four. He's playing Mario Kart and that's it. He Absolutely. Is, he's here for business. Opting not to do any kind of drift starting in first. Um, I'm assuming that's to avoid anyone getting a draft on him. We'll have to see how well, that yeah. works out. Being on Wiggler, it's hard to um, get that MT going into that glider in first. So yeah. very smart play for Kevo not going for any totally MTs there. For him. Uh, going for the drift, I would assume that's also to stop Ali from getting a draft on him. Yeah. Yeah, very smart play from Kevo. Um, keeping first on ED, which just doesn't happen. That, like, yep. The master of the mind happen. game. Yeah, exactly. Very interesting seeing him being able to hold first here on ED. And Red uh, coming in, breaking on something, not going for Kevo. So he's very well set up right now with double protection in first. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's well established his spot in first. And on a track where the last cut is so important, it's really cool to see him being able to break away on a track like ED. Oh, yeah, dude. Like, there's two spots on this track where you, if you don't have a shroom or draft, you're screwed. Like that that first turn, if you don't draft, you're screwed. If you don't have yeah. a shroom on the last yeah. cut, you're done. For sure, for but sure. But Kevo just kept first through both of them. And like, I, I'm not entirely sure how he did it. I think it's just a testament to how good of a player he really is. Exactly, yeah. Fran stopping for shock, we gotta assume it's not a very good situation for Arcanum yeah, right now. Yeah, absolutely, they really need it here. Out. Kevo doesn't have anything to dodge it with. He's going to be stuck picking it. blue. Yep. And Keo up into first with a horn now. Top two, actually, for Arcanum. Maybe go for the Nana Snipe? We'll have to see. Fire yeah. not connecting. Nah. Also not missing. connect. More bananas. Not going to be able to do too much against Claw and Keo up here. Oh, and the back through the Nanas. You hate to see oh, it. Oh, super unfortunate. Play Triple Shroom Star in 7th. That's a really good pull for Kevo. Yeah. I'm not going to be able to do too much against Arcane. I'm going to pass Diego. Diego yeah. Actually, also going to pass Ali, it looks like. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. Never mind. Ali, Ali pulled into second. He must have taken cut and I missed it. Yeah, top 2 4 for Arcane. Yeah. Pretty, so, pretty solid race for Arcane there. Yeah, maybe the beginning of a comeback. Yeah, we'll see. It was only a plus 6. Um, or yeah, yeah, it was only a plus six for Arcanum. They got they got nine ten last on top of the top two fours. So. Yeah, I mean it's trending in that direction though. You know, yeah, not too big of a win. It was the the war is within twenty right now. So okay. yeah. theoretically within one race. Um, obviously TRP is still in the advantaged position right now. But if we saw what Arcanum did last war, once they had some top spots, they're really able to chain those top spots into more good races really well. Yeah, exactly. And that's kind of the way to play it when you have the momentum, you know? You just got to oh, yeah. keep rolling with it. And they're getting their track pick as well. Um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I think TRP could pull shrooms here in those mid spots. Yeah, big time. We'll have to see what ends up happening. I'm not insanely confident that Arcanum's going to be able to keep what they have. Yeah, but, but I mean, 20 point difference going into, going into this race, so it's obviously yeah. not a not a blowout for either team quite yet. Yeah. How is Kevo in first already? Okay. Okay, it was just like, I was like, if he, if he outlined everyone that hard, like, I don't know, man. Yeah, just way too good for this match. <laughs> Getting the draft. Ale's still in first at the moment. Going wide for the box could... Yeah. Oh, a little bit too wide. Yeah. Yeah. Got a couple members from each team up front, though. Arcanum is holding top two at the moment, though. Ooh, oh, the banana. banana! Okay, Kevo's gone. Huge, huge banana. Off the bag immediately. 
established top two for up. Arcanum, really strong for them. So my prediction of uh, TRP pulling Shroom's first set didn't really come true. Arcanum was actually able to hold these top spots, at least to start. Yeah, big time. And Fran, actually not bagging this race, um, he's been pretty much sandbagging every race so far. So it's good to see him up in a mid spot. Mm -hmm. Got to watch out for these triple greens, though. Yeah, kind of a testament to how, how um, diverse he is as a player. You know, it's good to see him kind of up in the front. Oh, and... Yeah, it's going to get trailed by I it. Kind of yeah, I already sent the last. So it is bottom two for Arcanum right now. And yeah, okay, yeah. we're back to bagging. Goes, <laughs> Sweet to Kevo. Back to bagging, yeah. <laughs> Kevo just kind of running into some nanas. Uh, interesting choice from him. Yeah, for sure. We'll have to see how that plays into his master plan here. Yeah. Um, Kyo's stopping. I wonder what that means for the race. Mm. Could have just yeah. been. Oh, he's holding blue. Okay. Either. I was going to say he's not using anything in the back, but yeah, he's just holding blue back here. So it is still a top two for, as I say that, um, Ali getting hit out. So it should just be first for Arcanum right now. And Blue's Ooh. coming out. Might hit the guy in Not sure who's in a ghost right nope. now. Going to be a bit too late for that. Um, Could I possibly be a 1 four? 3. Could possibly be a 1 3. I'm not sure who was Maybe. in the ghost, though. Maybe. Oh, top Whoa! four. Whoa! Why was he holding blue? Huh. What? Fran, come on! I yeah, I don't understand that. That is Mis super unfortunate. Miscommunication from Arcanum's yeah. end. Uh, Fran holding blue when the other team is in first. Kind of weird. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, top four yeah. for TRP there. I thought. Yeah. I mean, when you see someone on your team holding blue, you got to assume that you're in first. But exactly, I, exactly. I guess it was all yeah. TRP that whole time. Kind of weird. I don't know. Uh, TRP up 44 after 5 right now. Kind of the inverse of what we saw last war. Yeah, a little bit of a throw there with the blue, but hopefully they'll pick a hard bagger and, and reset that momentum, and we'll see kind of where they're going to be going now. I'm going for the RMC pick. Not quite as hard of a bagger as some other tracks, but I respect it. I think it's... I think RMC is runnable, but it's definitely not a free run for those starting in top 4, right? No, absolutely not, yeah. But if you have that protection, you know, that goes a long way if you're starting in first. And we are actually going PPS anyway. Um, obviously a very strong runner. Uh, yeah. You can if, establish If that. nothing goes wrong, TRP should be able to carry the momentum here. It's not looking great for our kingdom right now. I'll say that much. Yeah, it looks like where we're standing right now, it looks like it might be forced into the the third match, but, you know, can't speak too soon. Yeah, only one way to find out if we get to that point. Exactly. Yeah, time will but, tell. Yeah, our TRP is really kind of running away with it right now, and Fran getting hit out. Kevo down to seventh. I think he started in that top four, so interesting to see him falling back here. And not quite sure who's in first right now. Um... There's at least one of Arcanum up there, the me. I think the yeah, me might be see, up there in first. We can see Axel in first right now. Yeah, that's on that's on Arcanum's side. Ali pulling out a boomerang in second. Um, actually, a top two for Arcanum, and Kevo getting fired out. So it, I think it's still just a top two from Arcanum, but good front presence from them right now. Uh, yeah. Front up in fifth. Got to watch out for Ali's trail. Okay. Down to a 1-3. And no chain for Fran, which is unfortunate. Oh, yeah. oh, <laughs> oh man. No one can hold a top spot here to save their life, man. Every time yeah. I look away and look up, it's always a different person up in the front. You know, it's crazy. Track Definitely like this, like, they're just trading super, top spots. Super, super tight volatile here. race so far. Yeah. Two through eight here is just like all right next to each other. It's insane. Yeah, and every time someone gets hit out, they're they're not like fully gone. They're still in the pack. The pack is very tight this race. Um, Kevo falling back down to eleventh, I think he's he might be going for shock or trying to get a dodge. Yeah, as you said, with with being hit out, you know, it's almost like if you're jumping off like a five story building and then you're landing on a mattress and just bouncing right back up. That's kind of how it's been looking. You know, if you're hit out, like you said, you're not really out. You're just kind of yeah, that's, in the pack. That's a relatable experience, Miles. I think we've all absolutely. done that at least once. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, I, I remember my first time for sure. Oh, yeah.
Kevo gonna probably gain some spots here unless he gets hit out. Gonna get not gonna get Fran. Getting Fran after the line, it looks like. Ooh. One three four for TRP, but two five six eight for Arcanum. Yeah, definitely a winning race still for the TRP side. Yeah, this is kind of just the exact opposite of what that last war was. Um up fifty-four after six for TRP and Arcanum is in, like, bottom four overall, which is literally yeah. the same sp spot that Arcanum was in last war. Yeah, I mean, it just it just goes to show, you know, just how close these teams can go with each other. They can kind of go, like, win for win, loss for loss against each other. Like, it's crazy. Yeah, for sure. Kevo with the crown, um, he's kind of living up to his name right now. Um, known as someone who scores a lot of points, and he's kind of just been in the front for every race this war. <laughs> I was going to say, what about his name? Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> don't you know? Ke Kevo is the Spanish word for scores a lot of points. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot about that. Go yeah, to Dolphin Shoals. Um, it's an interesting choice. I I'm actually not sure which team even picked this track. Nobody's spots are amazing for it right now. Yeah, same. I, I, I totally think the same thing. It'll be interesting to see how this turns out. There's like four people burning out. This is a mess already. Kevo not getting a box and getting a draft, but I mean, without any item to help him out. Yeah. Not too much. He's going to be able draft to make happen. a little there. bit, but, you know, wouldn't be surprised if he gets hit out real quick. Oh, and just never mind. Just, never mind. He's up there in front. Yeah. Ke Kevo has this ability to just not have an item, but then just not get hit anyway. It's, you know. Which that was insane. <laughs> Man, the slander. <laughs> I'm not accusing him of hacking, man. Uh huh. Uh huh. All right, so anyway, top two for TRP at the moment. Uh, actually, I think a top two for it. Oh, the bomb coming bomb. in. Okay, Connecting with okay. two TRP right there. Oh, actually, no, it's one and one. Okay. So Kevo kind of yeah. back in the middle. Up in the back, in with the distance. And, you know, if I was him, I'd be thinking I kind of want a bill right now. Oh, yeah. Bottom two yeah. is way too far back. I don't think either of those guys are pulling shock. Yeah, oh, for sure. Yeah, Fran has no item after his bill, and it's a golden. Yeah, they're, yeah, they're that sucks. Far back. Yeah. We'll see what Emilio has, though. Looks like a star. Yeah. It's going to be 10 11 yeah, for yeah, the Yeah, yeah, star me. after. Oh, oh here, Kevo has Kevo, shock. Kevo's got a shock right here in 9. Yeah, see, that's what happens when your bottom two is way too far back. People in yeah. 9 10 can just pull shock super easily. Yeah, there's really not. A chance for that bottom two to actually pull a shot. Mm. They were they were both in bills. They were both very far back. So very good the guys in nine ten were the ones who were actually going to pull it there. Yeah. Kevo chilling with a ghost in eighth. Ops to uh, use it. Super tight. Besides first. Yeah, I'm wondering who's in first because I see two, three, four, five for TRP right here. Could yeah. Be yeah. Very, oh, it's, oh, it's Diego in front. Diego's up there. I don't know if he's going to be able to hold bomb. That. Let's see. Oh, drops the bomb. Kevin goes yeah. wide. Very nice. One three right now for TRP. Can see Going for Fran. motion glider. All right, man. Nice. Did you find it? Little flex. Nope. Little flex. Okay. 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 Nice. Okay. Nice. Nice. And he does it. Oh my nice. god! He hits Diego nice. with the horn. Yeah. This... Very nice play. Yeah. Top three. Very, very established <laughs> right. as as the dominant team. This match, at least for TRP. Top three six for them. Very nice. Yeah. Arcanum had no chance that race. Like. Yeah, that shock was insane. Once Kevo yeah. pulled that shock in ninth, like it was over for Arcane. There was exactly. nothing they could have done there. Yeah, even and, with Diego trailing the bomb in first, he he had got to be afraid of what was coming up behind him. And <laughs> Diego getting flexed on by Kevo, his former teammate. You hate to see it. Yeah, that horn was insane. Yeah, Kev horn Kevo on kind of, motion. Kevo kind of carried that race, like. He yeah. he only got second, but that was that was all the Kevo show there. Yeah, it really was. Good that we can see all that action happening though from his POV. Oh yeah, oh yeah. So yeah, um, TRP is up seventy after seven. Um, it's gonna take a miracle at this point for Arcanum. The yeah. momentum is all in TRP's favor. They've yeah. won every single race except for one. Um, Arcanum won race four by six. Mm. But literally everything else has been all TRP. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that that first war, I 
I don't want to call it a fluke, but not repeating it here, TRP is yeah, they're very not obviously doing much. much better. Yeah. Yeah, I wonder if it's a lineup pick. thing or an effort like, thing, or if it's just maybe a little bit of both, is. man. Yeah. yeah, I'm not sure. I mean, they switched out a couple players, but I don't, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't know if that made all the difference. I just think that maybe right here they're kind of just pulling away as a dominant team. It's hard to say how they kind of were able to to do that yeah. so quickly. I mean, just I, like I wouldn't, though. I wouldn't, I wouldn't put it past a team to uh, underestimate Arcanum. Yeah. Oh, for we've sure. Seen, we've seen many, many teams do it in this tournament, and. Uh, oh sure they have yeah I think, I think crp did it match one yeah based off of how keva was playing the last match versus this match like it's kind of polar opposite you know oh yeah kevo is kevo is going insane right now yeah. <laughs> he's uh playing really very good. very well um what happened to diego oh he dropped, I think the blue. He dropped, I think he dropped out for the blue but i'm thinking that the blue was gonna split there i was i was thinking it was gonna split and go for kevo and uh diego at the same time there well, we've so established that Kevo doesn't really get hit by blues, so. Um, true, Kevo true. Versus the um, yeah. What's new? <laughs> yeah, a lot of, a lot of friend friend friend. could connect here, and it will connect with Diego. Yeah. Uh, not going to hit Pana, though. It's you know, a top, like top three. three there, there, right now. Yep. Or Kana yeah, most right. likely going to need a shock if they want to do anything here. Got to yeah, watch out for their green. Yeah, very risky there. Oh, no shrooms. Fran getting. A little bit outsped here by uh who's that? Is that uh Pana? Yeah, Pana went next one. Oh red skipping! Oh Hydra did have protection, oh, but be Fran good. Be able to be good. Nice. on him. And four oh, shrooms are second. Oh, oh. Greens. oh. Uh, he lost about like six or seven spots there. That's super unfortunate. Yeah, that's so sad for him. One, three, five, seven, eight for TRP. That's definitely a winning race for them I mean, in their favor. Fran was making it work there. He really was. Mm -hmm. uh, I think going tight that's there right. at the end, um, that, yeah. that's the path that everybody else is going to take too, right? So yeah. if any items were going to come out, they were going to come out on the right side of that ramp, and that's exactly For what sure. happened there. For sure. And I was afraid that shrooming in, in front of those triple greens that Fran opted to, to shroom in front of was going to be a really risky play. So I was like on the edge of my seat there for that that play, but you know, glad it kind of worked out up until the end with the triple greens from Pana there. Yeah. Yeah, Fran was really making it work. He was making risky plays, and you know he was getting rewarded for it. It was some very, some very, very good gameplay from him. But then, unfortunately, just the triple greens at the end. It's yeah. Another pretty big race from TRP. Yeah, there's, there's not much, there's not much of a chance anymore. Yeah, it's gonna take a miracle, like you said last race. Yeah, every race it's taking more and more of a miracle, and you know TRP keeps winning them, so. Not yeah. much that Arcanum can do at this point. Yeah. Arcanum's kind of digging their grave at this point, you know? Oh, the, the <sighs> grave is dug. I think, oh, the grave is dug. Yeah, I indeed. think at this point, if you're Arcanum, you just got to be focusing on match three. Yeah, 100%. Coming back from an 82-point deficit in four races, like, sure, I mean, it's, it's not possible. It's not unheard of, you know, but it's really going to take before, a while. But it's happened before, but it's not very likely. Absolutely. Kevo yeah. going for the world record strats just to flex yep. on him. Keep that oh, for yeah. Yeah. He is the king of just holding down first when he starts. He's not playing games this match. Oh, yeah. TRP actually going to keep top three. Yeah, that's insane. Yeah, DKJ is definitely one of their, their best runners here, it seems. Oh, yeah, for sure. And Fran's actually up here. Um, After oh, that sorry, super bounce... Yeah, I don't, I don't know who Axel is, but I saw him for the, the AVA match, and I was, I had no clue who he was, but he was, he's he was uh, there. He used to be on KA as well. I don't remember what his old registry name was, but interesting. He's, okay, he's been around. He's been around. Yeah, I see, I see. Yeah, I actually have Arcanum up in two four at the moment. Uh, not really gonna help too much if Kevo's just running away. They need much more than just an okay race at this point. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, all credit to Fran. He's he's holding his spot here, but he needs to be doing a little bit more than that if they want to actually get Kevo out of there. Yeah, definitely. And Kevo is actually in second right now. Uh, oh, all right. Hits something on the Bye. ground. Bye, did he get banana snipe? Did he hit a? Did he hit? 
something? I have no, no. idea. Happened, I have yeah. no idea. I didn't see yeah. any item there. Yeah, me either. But it looked like what? he spun out as if he got as if he hit a banana. I'm just not sure if it was on the ground or not. Yeah. So we got Kevo back in first, going inside the banana. Yeah. yeah, very, very risky there. We actually have our other, other POV up in second. Yeah. Mm. It's been a common Nothing. theme for Friend to be up in the front and then kind of die at the end. Let's see if he can hold yeah. it out here. Nothing uh, nothing that he can really work with here. Kevo is most yeah. likely getting killed this race. Uh, yeah. If you don't pull reds in second, you're just, you know, not yeah. going to do it. Yeah, 1-3-4 here for PRP. Opt him to so hold the red. Go for the back is what I would do. And it does not connect. Oh, he gets one at the, oh, line. He the line. Yeah, okay. he got fell at the line. Very nice. Let's see if that'll gain them some spots. Look like a 1 3 solidified for TRP, though. Oh, 2 3. Oh, wow. Yeah, gets Ollie some gets Ollie one spot. Yeah, and foul falls to, to fourth. But yeah, nice 2 3 for Arcanum there. Which unfortunately, not enough. Yeah, we're at uh, we're at the miracle uh, level right now. Yeah, I'm down exactly. 86 with three left. Yeah. Yeah, we need like two top sixes in a row, and then yeah, and even there, there we need to win another race. It's yeah. uh, it's looking really unlikely for Arcanum at this point. Yeah, um, holding those reds, not trying to red Kevo out, it, it was a smart play, right? Because TRP could have had anything behind him. Like, it's better to keep the presence you do have, but man, when you're in this situation and you need any top spot you can get, like. Oh, yeah. You gotta get Kevo out of first. 100%. Just letting him cross the line without throwing your double reds at him, that's not something you can afford to do at this point. You need to take those kind of risks if you want to win. Mm -hmm. Super Bell is a very interesting pick, but I mean, you know, they're kind of going to need to do what they can do here. See if they can make some kind of a difference. At least put a dent in this minus 86. See what they can do. We got Kevo starting in first on a beggar. We'll have to see what he decides to do here. Yeah. Um, looks like he's opting to run. I don't know. He He's known to stop on these tracks. Yeah, that's true. Oh, oh there you go. Just getting like sniped that. Get out immediately. Yeah, you know, I, I I bet he let that one happen just so he could start begging. Yeah, for sure. He said, <laughs> oh, well, I'm going to stay back now. Oh, no. I got hit out. Guess I have to beg. Exactly. You know that's what he was thinking, man. <laughs> we got uh, a few Arcanum up here. Yeah. Interesting that's... to see Fran opting to run, like, on a beggar. Because he's definitely, like, a guy who's going to stay in the back a lot of the time on this team. But yeah, nice, nice stop. Third at that moment. Like... Yeah, desperately going for some coins here. He's sitting at one and third. He's obviously going to be passed up. Oh, now he's at now zero. He's Hero, yeah. yeah, definitely go wide here. Pretty good spots, like position wide for position wise for Arcanum at the moment. But yeah, I mean it's it's Subway. It doesn't really matter what positions you're in on lap two. Exactly. Depends if you dodge the shock. Mm -hmm. Interesting. No drift strats there. And actually holding his shrooms. Yeah. Um, I would have to assume that. TRP doesn't have shock right now because if they did, you'd think Kevo would be chaining. Yeah, one hundred percent. Not I'm wondering. If the first right now, like it way. Yeah, it looks like it might be Arcanum because TRP is getting those reds out. Oh yeah. Oh, a lot and of reds coming out. Reds. Oh yeah. Yep. Oh yeah. Kevo oh. actually gonna get rid of as well. Yeah, um, interesting choice getting rid of those triple greens. I would have held true, him so. personally, but yeah, looks Catching like right first back, right? solidified here. Somehow broke away from all those reds. Very interesting. Yeah, it looked maybe That's like a three, four, five. Two, three, five. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not sure. That should do put it. the nail in the coffin. Yep. Oh wow. Yeah, two, three, six. Yep. Yeah. All two, right. Three, ten. So there you go. Um, TRP is going to take home match two, pushing it into the third match in our best of three. Yeah, Congrats um, to TRP for winning the, the second match, so it's going to be a very interesting match to see how it goes in the third. We got a plus 102 after 10, so. Yeah. Even though there's two races left, it is mathematically confirmed TRP did win. Correct. Now we just got to see how much Kevo scores, because 
Kevo is really just running away, running away with these uh these indivs here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I TRP played like a completely different team this war. They really did. They did. They really did. They kind of put out all the stops, which is you know what they needed to do to push it into the third match. Yeah, I think I think they went from kind of chilling in war one, like kind of underestimating Arcanum, mm -hmm. to going into full tryhard mode this war. A hundred percent. I think really you can, I, I think you can just see it in the way Kevo's driving. Yeah. Like Kevo was going for every single strat to keep these top spots. Yeah. Very important. Which he wasn't, he wasn't really doing that last war. Yeah. He was, he was truly chilling the last race, or the last war. Yeah. And this, this man, he's just TTing on this match. Well, not quite right now, but yeah, you know, yeah. in general, he was. In general. He was. Yeah. <laughs> we really have been seeing Fran up in the front quite a bit this war. The yeah. issue is that he just doesn't hold the spots to the end of the race. Mm -hmm. He'll be in third for two and a half laps, but if you get hit out to last at the end of lap three, it never mattered. Exactly. But yeah, it looks like top two, four right now for TRP. Getting fired out. Diego coming up in third. Yeah, yeah three, four, do, five right now for, for Arcanum. I do want Ooh. to uh, commend Diego because I don't I don't think he gets enough recognition for being as good of a player as he is. Yeah. So Definitely interesting to see Kevin hold, holding for so long. Yeah. Yeah, I, I do wonder what's up with that. that. Yeah. I'm wondering what that means for for this race. I don't, I don't think anyone on his team is holding shock right now. If they were, then he probably would have just spammed the golden, right? Yeah, I mean, let's see. You know, he uses the bill immediately. Very interesting place from Kevo here. You know, I wonder what the dog. Is like that. Yeah, I'm not sure. If you're staying in the back and you're in a position where you need to start chaining, very interesting to kind of hold the golden past a couple sets. I'm missing the chain there. That's unfortunate for Kevo. He does have a star in seventh, so he's in a pretty good position anyway, but not an optimal chain for him. For double here. Hoping to pull another dodge, and he does. Yeah. Already dodged the shock as well, coming up with another dodge in fourth right here. Should be a TRP shock. There's a motion glider on this track? I didn't even know that. Apparently. Kevo? Hello? Oh my god! Oh my god! Yeah, I had no clue about that one. Oh it's my insane. god! Oh my god! Come on! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Bring out all the strats, no exaggeration. Oh my lord! Yeah, insane. One, five, <laughs> six, eight for TRP right there. Kevo's going insane right now. Yeah, he's literally on sicko mode right now, you guys. Okay, you don't need to ever say that again, Ryan. <laughs> I won't, I won't. Had to bring it out for the one time. Uh, Kevo is just... <laughs> yeah. He's going crazy. He's, he really is going crazy. It truly like, is. Like I said earlier, pulling out all the stops, doing every single strat in the book mm -hmm. to try to get first, and it's working yeah, for him. it really is. Of going random, he doesn't care. He, he yeah. can get first on any track. He don't care. He, yeah, he don't give a hoot. Going into last race, no chance. Yeah, up 90, 90 What is that? Ninety six. Going into last race. Yeah, so I guess we didn't even mention Arcanum won that race, even though Kevo made the play of the game right there. Mm -hmm. Like Arcanum did win that race. They got the two, three, four. Mm -hmm. We're going to NBC for the last race. Um, one of my personal favorites. Love to see this track get in playtime. Got some playtime last war, too. Mm -hmm. But this time we have Kevo starting in first, so he'll actually get a box this time. Yeah. So, here we are. Last race. Um, not much stakes at this point. Um... TRP is already won by quite a bit, and Kevo has guaranteed himself MVP. It's just a battle of how much he can actually score. Yeah. Possible for him to get 140 here going into going into the end here. Which That's is going to be just insane, yeah. Too many points. 
<laughs> Can't even share. Yeah, man. It's, uh, it's definitely rare to, to be in a war, like, at this level and see someone scoring this many points, you know? Like, even though this isn't, like, a top div war or anything, like, it, it's D3 versus D5, that's still, like, too high for someone to be dropping 140s casually like this. Yeah. Kevo is just that strong. He's really, really good. He is. But Arcanum yeah. is on top two. Both of them yeah, are it, Yep. Yeah, in my career, Kevo is definitely one of the best players that I've ever come across. So it's just interesting to see kind of where he's going to go from here and how he's going to grow. Oh, as a dirty player. top one on Kevo. Oh, yeah. Had to I flex mean, a little bit. If I'm Arcanum, right, the, the strat for War 3 is focus Kevo no matter what. Literally. It's hard target this dude. It is more yeah. important to hit Kevo out than it is to keep your spot in the race. Yeah. Yeah, gotta target the carry. Literally. And, I mean, it's working here. He's down to 7. And it is, it is lap 3. No dodge, just shrooms. And a section where you really don't want shrooms. Yeah, so, looks like looks like it's unfortunate that Kevin's not going to get his 140, so... I don't speak too soon. Can yeah, man. There's Kevo in the room. He is going to opt to go for the 130, though. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay, I guess, I guess we'll take that. Yeah, you know, you can't get the 140 is the next best thing, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, finishing with a 133, being the only player on the board to break 100. Up 34 yeah, points. did get 2 3 4 overall. Yeah, like all, yeah. All credit to them. Like they're they're keeping up, but when you have yeah. someone who's scoring this many points, and when your team is in bottom three overall as well, yeah. yeah just taking just taking all of his team and just putting him in his backpack, running away each race, doing all the strats. Just crazy to see. Oh, that was an Arcanum top four. I didn't even notice. Oh wow, was <laughs> it really? So uh, TRP ended up winning that rate, winning that war by seventy. Oh, um, nice. It was a comeback, right? It was a bit of a comeback. Obviously too late. By the time they got their good races, DRP had already won the war. Absolutely. But it, it's proof that Arcanum is able to get these good races. Exactly. So, even though this war was obviously heavily in TRP's favor, favor, Arcanum is not out of it. I think it is still either team's game for match three. Yeah, literally. It's going to be very interesting. And best of luck to both teams, you know? Yeah, make sure to stick around. We got it coming up in 13 minutes. Game three of TRP versus Arcanum. Definitely. I hope to see you all there. We will see you then. Bye. Yeah, see you then.
All right, welcome back, everyone. We got match three coming up of the Runners Assemble Finals with the Real Panas versus Arcanum. Uh, match two, kind of a blowout in TRP's favor, honestly. But, I mean, Arcanum won match one, right? Like, yeah. they've, they've proven they have the ability to win these wars, so I still think it's anybody's game right now. Exactly, yeah. Going, going into match three, having it be 1-1, one, one, you know, it's, it's truly anybody's game, and we're going to see who can be the dominant team right off the bat, or if it's going to be kind of a ping-pong match all the way through. Yeah, That's so only time far, we'll tell, right? both the wars so far have been kind of dominant for one team, but hopefully we get something close here. That's what I'm hoping for. I don't really care who wins personally. I just want to see a good war. Me too. Yeah, and uh, we actually had... Fran switched out for this match, so we're gonna have Axel Eleven's POV, who was the the player who was using me Scooty uh, for the last couple of matches. So we're gonna have his point of view for this match. Yeah, Fran has been subbed out in favor of Light. You can see his knee in the room. Yep, yep. Uh, yeah, Light is Light is also a, a, a me Scooty main, and he he usually uses the Yoshi suit. So we're gonna have two Mies on the board for Arcano. Uh, I thought Light was yeah. inward. No, he's not. No, he's me Scooty. Huh. Hmm, I might be remembering wrong then. Uh, other than that, it looks like the lineups are pretty much the same here. Got to assume Fal is still the female player me. Uh, I see Emilio. I see Claw. Ale. Uh, yeah, so two Ale, actually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's that's Ale and Hydra. Again, Ale's on the right, Hydra's on the left. But uh, looks like we're going to be looking at... Diego uh, back. Was Diego yeah. back? I don't even know. Uh, yeah, yeah, he was. Actually, we're going to be looking at a no inward lineup so far. The man himself back in the room. Heck yeah, there the he is. Room. Yeah, things are looking pretty similar here, though. Um, yeah. It's going to be mostly different on our end with a new POV to look at. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's always good to have that diversity. Yeah, and it's going to be interesting to see what light can do in this lineup, because... Light is uh, one of those people who is able to get into the front for Arcanum, for sure. Mm -hmm. He's definitely one of their stronger players and definitely a stronger like front presence player. Whereas Fran, like I, I think he is in Arcanum's best lineup, but he's in it for different reasons, right? Yeah. Fran is there to be a bagger, pull shocks, be there in the pack. Yeah. Light exactly. is more of a runner than that. Yeah. It's going to be interesting to see how that different play style of the sixth player... Uh, works out for oh absolutely yeah and then diego i don't i honestly don't even know who he's selling out <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't really know hard to say um i mean yeah we don't see ethan here so no ethan yeah, ethan was gone since match one that one was yeah. Cute. yeah i'm not too sure i'm blanking on who Ooh, is not here maybe maybe no sergio i don't know hard maybe, to say yeah. That sounds right. We got Pana yeah. in the room. Recognizes that me. Heck yeah. Pana himself, the namesake of the team. Oh yeah. We got twelve in room, just waiting for it to start at this point. Yep. Yep. And yep, just waiting for it to start at this point. Yep. Exactly. Come on, guys. You can do it. You can do it. <laughs> it's not that hard to change the settings. You, you got it. <laughs> if there are any settings to be changed. Sheesh. It's true. Yeah, man. Oh, my God. Come on. Oh, my God. <laughs> Please start the room. It's not that hard. <laughs> <laughs> be patient. Yeah. Be patient. You gotta press like three buttons, guys. Come on. True, true. They're working on it. They're working on it. Yeah. Well, the game is in Spanish. Like, I can't. I can't speak that. Maybe. Maybe they gotta look up what all the words mean. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, I guess that's true. I guess I they can't do. speak Spanish. That means no one else can speak it either, right? True, true. Yeah. Since you're always right, Mr. Right. You know me. Oh yeah, sure do. And I know if I had my game in Spanish, I would be taking a long time to figure out the correct options. I just have to assume. 
but that's the case for everybody else too. Uh huh. Yes, indeed. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Yeah, I see someone using the LU command in chat. It, it's not correct. That was the lineup for match one. Um, I, we don't really have any idea what the lineup is right now. <laughs> okay, and I see the salt emojis coming back. I dislike that. Uh -oh. I don't know. Really... Uh-oh. Oh, no, they're just being rude to me. We gotta start this war so that people have yeah. <laughs> nothing to talk about. Yeah. Oh, he's taking a quick pee. Please wait. Oh my How god. Nice. How nice. That's not allowed. That's not allowed. <laughs> man. Just hold it, man. Just hold it. We got a cast to do. Yeah, I'm walking Come in. On. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> and no one's like switching me's either. We got nothing to talk about right now. Yeah, exactly. A whole lot of nothing going on. All right, all right. Let, let's do some let's do some chat interaction. How was all of your guys' days? Yeah, I want to hear. Tell, tell us what's going on. I want to hear what's going on in your lives. Yeah. Oh, we got the you. original Falmy coming in. Right. Yep. What's my favorite color? Uh, I like yellow. Yellow is my favorite color. What about you? What's your favorite color? Oh, good to hear. Good to hear that you're doing good, Italic. Yeah. Oh, awesome. nice. Getting that COVID vaccine. Cool. Heck yeah. I just got fully vaccinated the other day. Glad to see more and more people getting getting both vaccines, which is awesome. Yeah. Uh, who is my favorite member of the band Coldplay? Um, I got to go with uh, the frontman and singer, John Coldplay. <laughs> Man, you're getting all the questions. No one's directing nothing at me. Someone please ask Miles a question. Um, yeah, I'm going to start crying. feeling very left out right now. I'm going to start crying. You don't want to hear Miles cry. It's it's kind of an annoying sound. Not something <laughs> you want to hear. Up. Man. Shut up. Gosh. Okay, if you insist. I'll, I'll the leave you alone. Yeah. The room yeah. absolutely did start. And we got RWS coming out for Arcanum. Favorite and color. Yeah. I like black and I like teal. Uh, I, I like Dave, I like Dave play. It's my favorite, my favorite member of Coldplay. Um, my favorite food. Hmm. It's a tough one. I like pizza. I like, uh, I like chicken. I like salmon. I like Thai food, stuff like that. Ooh, Thai food. And, uh, no, no, I don't like salt. Hate it, actually. People Miles name is, Miles Miles. Is right. Salt isn't really our thing. Yeah, it's not. We're not we're not too salty of people. Mm. But yeah. Alright, here we go. We got Wario Stadium coming out for race one. Uh Arcanum's track pick. Yeah. Finally getting into it. Um Ollie got back from the bathroom, I guess. Yeah. Hey, you see that Yoshi suit? That's light and the Splatoon suit's Axel. Yes. Light making his Runners Assemble Finals debut. Yeah, coming in when it really matters. Yeah, I got RWS. We'll see which team's able to pull away here. Obviously, our game pick since Ale was the the host. So, right. kind of getting up towards the front pretty early here, but unfortunately getting bumped back. Axel down in eleventh for the time being. Yeah, not opting to go for any coins, even though they are much needed right here. Kind of just stuck in the back for now. Kevo's in yeah. first. How that just kind of happened. I don't know. No surprise, no surprise there. <laughs> I swear, you switch off a Kevo for one second and you come back. He's just broken away in first. Yeah. I don't know how... Oh, man. Um, not much knowledge of the rest of the spots right now. I think I saw a TRP tag in second. Yeah. Easy, uh, we can easy. see with the Mies that Ali and Light are in some mid spots. Axel as well. Yeah, Ali's, Ali's on Warrior, so he's, he's up there in third. It looks like all Arcanum in the mid section right here. So. You got Emilio up in fourth though. Uh, it looks like a top two four for TRP right now. Yeah, if I that's had probably it, yeah. yeah, I got Claw, Ale, and Axel up here in the mid pack for Arcanum. See if they can kind of break that up. Very interesting. Okay. Oh, it connects with both teams. 
Okay, okay. All right, all right. It worked out. It worked out. Net, net positive for a canum here. Um, yeah, yeah, for sure. Ooh, interesting. Hugging the wall there. A little bit oh, too yeah. tight. Oh, no, no box. Waste of Shroom does not take the strat either. Oh, kind of works yeah, out. Here. Diego's up in fifth. Yeah, five, six. Ooh, triple red's coming up for Diego. Let's see if he Don't can Don't want to get some out of that star right now. Yeah. yeah. He's about to be very careful here. Bananas on the ground. That's gonna kill Axel pulling out triple reds right here. Get on the way. Oh, gonna gonna hit high bro. Nice, nice. A little one for one action there. Okay, okay. Oh, two, three, four, but one, five, six for for TRP. That might be even, honestly. Looks pretty even. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know, man. Kevo, you, you look away for one second, and he's just in for. I don't know how he does yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> It's actually plus eight for Arcanum there. Yeah. Uh, more of a race than it looked like. Um, when you when you have only first, like you know, it's not great. Yeah. Oh yeah, they got they got nine bottom two as well. Didn't even notice that. Yeah, they did. So, uh, uh, Arcanum going with what's proving to be a pretty common track pick for them, Electrodrome. Yeah. And, I mean, ERP doing the exact same thing. Going with uh, what TRP works well for them. Exactly. And that, that's kind of how you have to play going into the last match. You know, you got to just play with what's proven to work for you in the past. Yeah. Whatever worked the first time. like. Exactly. They both have wins on the board. Yeah, Arcanum with a winning race right off the bat. Let's see if they can keep that momentum mm. or not. Ali's still eating. Sorry, guys. That, that That's why he didn't keep first. That race it makes sense. Right, right. Once he's done with his food, he's going to be on 180 pace from that point forward. Guaranteed. Exactly. Eh, more like 165. That's right. We'll see. We'll see. Kevo starting in first on a track he's very good at, so it's going to take a lot of work to get him out of here. Yeah, absolutely. And Ollie like, not pulling anything to get him out. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, <laughs> there's Kevo in first. Like, yeah. If you don't hit Kevo out in the first set, he's just going to be broken away. Oh, and there's Diego coming up. Yeah, Diego taking the cut, actually having a shroom up here. Kevo doesn't top care. Two. He wants to be in first anyway. Yeah, top two. Almost top three. I'm not sure who's in third. It looks like it might be Ale, but I'm wondering if there's another person right there. Oh, no. Three, three four, four five, five, six for Arcanum right here. Triple Green's going to keep the rest of his team safe to take out that top two. See if really top off. two. Nothing else for TRP right now. Yeah, man. They're gonna they're gonna need shock here pretty soon. Top two can kinda carry a race, but I mean if you don't have any other top spots, it's not gonna be yeah. good. Yeah. Ooh, Ale fires himself Ooh. off the track. Diego's also done. Yeah. Actually gonna be a two three for our kingdom now. Kevo is just gone. Yeah. One for one month. there. Oh, I just yeah, went okay. through a coach, actually. Yeah, one three, one four ish for, for TRP here. Red coming out for uh, is that claw up there, yeah. Hydra with the red. Axel's yeah, gonna Axel want to get rid of that. Yeah, take that out. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, good play. The last sure thing you want is for your teammate to be hit out. Yeah, keep that two. Yeah, down. yeah, definitely. Oh, I would have held the red to put some pressure on him, but yeah, I mean, you know, that's a play. Triple green. That's a great pull for third right here. Gives Claw some space to definitely take out. Oh, interesting. Throwing him away. The shot that's coming out. That's definitely an Arcanum shock, getting them into yeah, set. Yeah, a hundred percent. Oh, mm, Green not the fire. pull you That's want. Not the pull you want. Yeah. Little horn coming up for Pana, and it misses. Oh, insane! Still has these. Oh, leads. that oh, trail. Pana. Yeah, Charles Pana there. Yeah, a lot of top spots right now for Kanan. Actually, choosing not the chain, which is interesting. Yeah, I can't blame him there. You know, I I definitely go for some little backing action here. Back? Uh, yeah. Gonna get the back off of Lego. No, Never mind. It was leg. Oh, yeah, loses two spots for that because he gets banana sniped. It's unfortunate. Two, four, five, eight. Yeah, that looks like a winning race for TRP there. Definitely, it was a bottom two for Arcanum as well. Yeah, I think uh, Axel losing two spots on the line there. I think if that back had connected, it would have been a very different story that race. 
Because that was a plus eight for TRP. So uh, we're back to a tied war after two. And yeah, I think if that back, like if Diego hadn't legged through that back, if Axel had kept his position there, you know. Yeah. We oh, definitely and it's, still have Arcanum winning right now. It's tied up after race two, man. Looking like it's going to be a very close match if the first I race is the indicator. Yeah. Kevo, um, I think he's on 30 right now, you know, to be expected at this point. Yeah. It's interesting how Arcanum continues to pick TM. I don't think it's gone well for them in either of the first two wars. Not going to see it this time around. We are going to go to Cloud Top Cruise. And yeah, Kevo's on 30. No one else has broken 20 yet. Yeah. You know. <laughs> what else would you expect? You imagine that Kevo's going to take some world record lines here. Keep first. Oh, yeah. See, I'd be very surprised to see him get bumped out here. Yeah. Very good at keeping first here. Yeah, yeah, nice Kevin line. Very good at keeping first in general. Like, oh, interesting. Never mind. Um, yeah. What I was gonna say is, if Kevin starts a race in first, I think the odds of him staying in first the whole race is like greater than fifty percent. Yeah, a hundred percent. Like, yeah. he's very, very good at keeping a top spot. Mm -hmm. He really is. But he did get redded out this race, so we have Axel of uh, actually down to a tenth or eleventh. Kind of going yeah. super wide there, losing all his spots. I'm not sure exactly why he did that. There was a red behind him. I don't blame him for that. Oh, I see. I didn't notice that. That bomb took oh, like wow. six people out. Okay. Yeah, I gained a lot of spots for Axel. Two, three, four for Arcanum right now. Yeah. Axel's gonna get it's gonna lose some spots. Still two, three for Arcanum. Yeah. Axel kind of playing pinball here while everyone else is playing Mario Kart, but you know, love to see it. Ooh, that red from Kevo. Uh, oh, yeah. Man. Gonna take I don't out know who that took out. Oh uh, yeah. Oh, the trail nice from Kyo Kyo. and the red gonna, from Kevo. Dang. It's going to open Kyo up to get ridden by Kevo. Looks like an obvious top two for Arcanum as Allies in front with Light in second. So Kevo's going to have to put in some work. Nice to have some non Waluigi's in the room. Exactly. Easy to tell who it is. Go for the back, man. Go for the back. Hmm. It's, it's just Kevo up here. So he probably should be playing safe, but I really want to see him back. Yeah, same. God, his backs are insane. They're really on point. Four shrooms because top two are broken definitely, away. Definitely not what you want. Ooh, the bomb. Yeah. and the bomb. And Shock. the shot. For it looks like Arcanum. Oh, maybe I not, actually. actually. Yeah. That was a TRP yeah, shot. Yeah, probably a TRP shot. Yeah, but Axel's breaking away right now. Yeah, Axel Look did that. die. Look at so him go. He's up into first with a shroom. Yeah. going to hold that shroom just in case. Yeah. Oh, good. He pulls a defense. Awesome. Should be good here. Yeah, red coming out for him. Oh, oh get red on the line. Oh, red, come uh, on. Hold it, hold it. Oh, oh okay. nice. Nice. All right, there we Able go. Able to hold the first. Man, that sucks. Getting double red at the line after you dodge. That's just not. Yeah, one, three, four, seven, eight, last for Arcanum. Definitely the kind of race you want to see. 100%. Yeah, Very shot. good first for Axel. Shot call didn't quite work out for TRP there. Yeah. I mean,. Obviously, you go for the target shock there. There's not really any other play you can do. But the issue with that is it's really predict predictable, right? Yeah, absolutely. So a Axel was able to predict that shock, pull into first, and just hold it from that point on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that shock was kind of detrimental, it looked like, for Arcanum. But uh, they were able to pull it out in the end, just pretty pretty kind of unheard of on a track like okay, that okay okay y'all in the chat would you rather i'm just monotone the entire time come on guys i'll, yeah. I'll do it this race i'll do it if you ask for it i was thinking that man I'm, I'm gonna talk like a robot if you want me to i'm an axel 11 enjoyer what can i say i am too man i want nothing but the best for axel 11 yeah same nothing but best wishes best wishes for Axel. okay okay all right i'm seeing uh I'm seeing some opinions in the chat. I think I'm going to be very, uh, very low key this race. Very, very. Yeah, low. yeah. Got to keep it a little monotone. Too gonna bad. have a bit of an ASMR bit. race here. Yeah, yeah. I like it. 
All right, so we have Axel 11 starting in first here. Yeah. Yeah, let's see if he can hold it on a on a hard runner like Royal. Doing you know, bad. Diego exceeded last time, missing the mini turbo. Not a great moment. All right, all right, all right. I, 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 I can't do this. I can't do this. You gotta, <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta pump it up a bit. You gotta pump it up a bit. Come on. No, no, no. Piano's so close to the mic. <laughs> Axel 11. Oh, I got no words. I got no <laughs> words. Man. See? This is what y'all get. If you don't See, want me to yell, I'm going to do that. See, what does what does Galdi want? You know? Yeah. He doesn't he want me to yell. Yeah. He doesn't want me to be quiet. Do you want me to just not talk at all? Jeez, I'll let Miles yeah. pass this race. Literally. Literally. Yeah. Ooh, well, anyways. I can't please these people. Yeah. Come on, come man. On, come on. Ooh, triple bananas. Not the pull you want, mate. All right. <laughs> it's like a top two for TRP, but a three four for a Canem right now. Let's see if they can crack that top two. Ooh, the bomb coming up. Bombing Emilio out of second. Axel pulling into second as well. All right, all right. We got Luis and me in second right now. Looks like top two, top two four for TRP. Yeah, I gotta get that boomerang out. Let's see how that's gonna work out for him. Oh, green's up. Oh, he gets sniped out. Top four right now for TRP. And wow. a shot comes in for, it looks like Arcanum. Definitely Arcanum shot. You see all of them coming into first with the dodge. Yeah, A, hey, you see it. Yep. And we have all right. Let's see if they can crank that soldier boy coming into the top here. <laughs> Shut up, <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, the shrooms get ghosted. Paige, please don't be your name. This is only for this race. The people asked. No! Uh-uh. Nah, you, you, gotta, you gotta keep Jacob on. <laughs> oh, Kevin gets starred. The lag star oh, and backfired. God. Is he gonna get last? No. Oh, my oh. God. Oh, my God. Yeah. Okay, anyways, Jacob. All right. <laughs> top, top five for Arcanum. All right, there we go. Good race. Good race. Yeah, F in the chat for Kevo. That was a real quick work for Arcanum there, sending him all the way to the to the end. And the back, the whatever. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know what we're trying to say. Yep, exactly. Just saying just saying words at this point. So Arcanum up sixteen after four. Uh that was that was a plus six race for Arcanum there. Mm hmm Yeah, Arcanum definitely not going easy on him this this war. Oh no, I'm like People were saying after the first war, like, oh, TRP is just letting them win. They're not trying. And the second war, like, kind of low-key confirmed that, because it was just uh -huh. TRP beginning to end. But, I mean, Arcanum's kind of winning right now, you know? Yeah, man, I don't know. Like, I think I think TRP's probably trying right now. Yeah. <laughs> Arcanum, Arcanum is winning this war at, at the time. Yeah, absolutely. We're going back to Dolphin. Pretty common pick for this series. I think we've played it every single war. Yeah, we have. Very common track to see. It's going to be interesting to see what Kevo does here. I wonder if he's going to try to get into the front or if he's going to do a bit of bagging. Well, he's going to do a bit of bagging now after burning out. Yeah. Okay, and he's in ninth for now, with at least two of Arcanum behind him. Mm -hmm. I'm hoping someone from TRP is back on shock duty with them. If not, this could be a pretty one-sided race. Red's coming out on Diego. Unfortunate for him. Pretty lucky pull yeah. to Kevo. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it looks like Arcanum in first. The Wario is up there. I wonder who's in second. Interesting oh, going yeah. for motion on lap one. Kevo it's does failing. not care. Yeah. Probably not a great idea, but it, it's Kevo. What are you going to do? Yeah, exactly. Unfortunately, it you know doesn't doesn't do him much damage. So yeah. one from each team getting boxed right there. Um, Ollie's still in first. Two three for TRP. Yeah, it's like a one four, maybe a one four five here. Yeah, Axel coming up. Uh, light staying in the back. It looks like. Yeah, I wonder. 
for a shock to, to do some damage. Yeah, Ale looks like gets hit out of first, so it might be a top two for TIP right here. So yeah, definitely. If Light does have the shock, I would expect a TS here. Yeah, definitely. So Activate? I'm thinking yeah, they no. don't have it. Yeah. Yeah, don't have it yet. But yeah, I don't see Light using anything yet. He might be using a golden, but definitely no star or anything back there. He was in a he was in a star earlier. It's kind yeah, of it suspicious be... what he's doing right now. Yeah, it's hard to say. I'm, I'm thinking you know, Arcana probably has it. Yeah. Yeah, he passed the set, didn't even stop. He probably has it. Yeah, so we're operating yep. under the assumption. Yep. There it is. There we go. There we go. Shot comes out for Arcanum, light coming up, Ale dodging up. Uh TRP is coming out on the TRP. Oh, Hydra dodge. Yeah, Hydra. Hydra, up. Hydra is Hydra. actually not gonna get hit by the blue. It's gonna go for yeah. Diego. His race is pretty much over. And Diego's gonna get planted. Yeah, here comes all of TRP right behind Hydra coming into first. Bomb back! Oh, the bomb! Oh. Okay. All right, all right. All the way to bottom. Oh, and get back. Man. Oh, super unfortunate. I mean, the strategy to target Kevin was obviously working. Oh, bottom oh, five for TRP. Oh, One that bottom hurt. five. That bomb. <laughs> that so that bad, bomb did some man. work. Oh, oh man. Lord. Yeah, absolutely oh, insane. Oh, my God. Jeez. That race hurt me. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That, that race made me recoil in my chair in real life. Yeah, oh I, I, I cringe. I, I physically cringe when that bomb hit. Because I, <laughs> I saw I saw Keo right on the side of that bomb, and I was like, great. Keo just died. They killed their own team, but then Keo just passes right by. TRP oh dies, falls to bottom five. Insane. I'm shaking, <laughs> dude. Oh. Yeah, man. What an upset. Oh, that was man. so bad. Oh I was like, yeah, God. free first for Hydra, but nothing else. Nothing else. Yeah, nothing else. Yeah. I mean, all credit to Arcanum. Like, the coordination to make that race happen. Like, it yeah. takes a it takes a bit of luck to get a race that good out of the situation you were in. But oh my lord, yeah, that was absolutely. good from Arcanum. Yeah. Oh well, we get to see a track that we haven't seen all day today. Let's yeah, take a look go. at Water Park. Yeah, Water Park. They're opting to pick Water Park for two through seven, which is you know interesting. It can be a really strong runner, and also. Around the uh, the curve of the underwater section is a really strong drafting point, so we'll see kind of how that works out for Arcanum here. Yeah, I'm not too excited for Hydra in first, because, I mean, yeah. someone's going to pull a red. Especially just pulling a coin there. Very yeah. unlucky pull for him. He, he's lucky to get through the first set, but yeah, he's not literally. Hold first. I don't see um, any like... reds around him. It's all shrooms and nothing else. Well, it's just a shroom in first and then nothing else, looks like. Light and first yeah. for now. Gonna get hit out actually. I think it's Hydro back Hydra oh, wow. back up there. Yeah. Actually, top three for TRP. Yeah, wow. They were able to break that that two three two through seven right there real quick. Arcanum uh getting kind of unlucky with the first set pulls. No reds at all. Yeah, and definitely. That, that would have really that would have helped them a lot. Kind of allowed this situation to happen. Yeah. Yeah, for now, just kind of uh, chilling. Just chilling in top two. Yeah. Trying to get a bit of a breakaway. No one's really going for shock either at this point. Yeah. I see one well would you stay driving. back a little bit. Yeah, maybe yeah, maybe he's not staying back as much as we thought. Yeah, he's not really going for it. Like, he's not far enough yeah. to be at distance right now. Yeah. The pack is overall pretty close here. Just, we just got 12 people driving forward this race. Yeah, literally. I mean, it's, it's a really hard track to pull shock on, to be fair, so... Yeah, I don't blame that's true. Them, but, you know, when you see that top two that's broken away, just like it is, it's you know, you, you really need to at least go for it. We see Ale in the back, which is not very common of a sighting, so we'll see if, if that yeah, means anything. Yeah, stars, though, so... Yeah, he's chaining. Not looking great for Arcanum uh, right now. Yeah. And Axel's stuck with these triple reds. Uh, Light yeah. is going to let him pass. There's a to lot the of top play. spots for TRP here. A this lot is... of top spots. It might be like a top four for them, it looks like. I think I'm not that sure. guy just got blued on the line. Ooh. Might have passed, I'm not sure. Yeah, it's going to be hard to say. Oh, top two five. Okay. Kind of nullified okay. it a little bit. That blue definitely killed someone on the line it there. Was, it was definitely looking a lot worse than it actually was. It was. I saw a lot of TRP up there. Okay. Going to be a winning race for TRP anyway, uh, plus 12. But. Okay. You know what? 
it wasn't right. that bad. It was a good, uh, it was a good recovery from Arcanum, yeah. especially with no shock. Arcanum's still up 26 going into, what is this, race 7? Is this 7 or 6? Okay, yeah, going into race 7. Arcanum's up 26. Let's see if they can hold it down. Yeah, Arcanum is really getting, uh, getting some good damage control going. Like, I mean, the DS race. Oh my god. <laughs> Yeah, that was like, insane to watch. Da damage control is so good that you get a plus 22 from it. Yeah. And like even that race, like we, we both thought that TRP was getting like top four, top five then. Yeah. But hey, I mean, turning that into only a minus 12 is still pretty good. Absolutely. Oh, nice. And Ollie's done eating. So there we go. Sweet. Good to hear. Congratulations, Ollie. Going to Sunshine Airport, which does benefit TRP quite a bit. Starting in top two here is a pretty strong position. Man, up 26 with Ale eating, too. That's insane and unheard of. Yeah, like now that he's not his stomach is full, who knows what he could do? Yeah, man, unmatched. And two people, both from TRP, are going to take cut. So it's a top three early on. Yeah. Interesting oh, with the motion, man. I don't. Cavo, oh. man. <laughs> you can't. You can't just keep doing it, man. Yeah, doing it to him. I mean, it gained him a couple spots. They yeah, worked out, you know. He's just doing strats that the rest of us haven't even heard of before. Yeah, he's making his own strats on the fly. That's what really matters. Yeah, you see a lot of Arcanum in the back. Light definitely stopping at the set, so they're going to need shock here as TRP is going to pull away in the top three right now. Pretty pretty bad look for Arcanum right now. Yeah, they're going to need to pull something off here. I mean, Light's going for it. Yeah, he, he is. He's going for it. And he's on really Luigi going for it. as well. Who knows yeah, what team man. the Luigi's on? I would assume TRP. Yeah, if I had to guess right now, based on the distance, I'd say 9th or 10th is going to be more likely to pull Shock here. <sighs> yeah, as they were really far back, man. Yeah, it's a yeah, top pretty three dominant for TRP, for TRP right it now. It is. going to need to make something happen here. Yeah. And I think Light is too far back at this point, so... Yeah, he is. He's just pulling bills. Looking kind of grim. Yeah. Very desperate staying back that far, but I'm, you know, I'm, I'm a shock enjoyer, so I'm hoping that one comes in at some point. We just have to see. I mean, we're, we're gonna need one to come in if uh, Arcanum is gonna get any kind of decent race here, and it does. I'm not sure who that was from. It okay. got a top three in the set. Yeah, I'm, I'm willing to bet that's a TRP shock. Not what Arcanum needs at all. Yeah, um, should be able to hold top two here, and gotta watch Ooh, for the bottom the line. Oh! 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 Oh no! Farm, oh, dude! Oh, my palm, god. man! Oh my god! Oh, okay, still a top two, but yeah, three, four, five, seven for Arcanum. That might nullify it just a little bit. Oh, yeah, wow. That, uh, yeah, that's super. That's just not great. That's <laughs> not an amazing moment. Yeah, I mean, like they still got top two, right? But. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, that was insane. Running into the wall there and then getting back bombed by your teammate. That's just not what you want to see from TRP at this point. Yeah, no, TRP needs to be making a comeback, which they are. That was a, that was a plus 10 race for TRP. But, yeah. I mean, when you have like a free top three like that and just throwing that away to bomb your teammate on the line. Yeah, it could have been like, a lot bigger than a, than a plus 10 for that race. I'm I'm just worried that like, Oh, That's we're seeing some back interesting tracks coming anymore. out. Yeah, for sure. Always love to see some interesting tracks come out. Like, I'm this, a bone dry. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go okay. ahead. I'll go, I'll go. Like, if this war ends up being within, like, four points, it's that. It's that race. <laughs> like, even though they still won that race, a lot of stuff can happen to... Uh, yeah. To lose you the war in the end. So I just hope that one doesn't come back to bite TRP. Oh, big time. Yeah, we'll just have to see.
Oh my god, Cavo. <laughs> what did he do? Going for he the NISC? The, yeah, he did the NISC. Yeah. yeah, man. Just got punished for it. Didn't, yeah, it didn't pay off. Yeah, I'm, I'm really interested to see who we're going to see MVP in this, because it's coming really close. Kevo's only ahead by like three points. You know, I'd love, yeah. I'd, love, I'd love to see who the chat's banking on to MVP this match. That's what I'm that's what I'm curious about. Yeah, the thing is, like, Kevo did gain spots from doing the NISC there. The issue was he started in too low a position, so he didn't get up to first. And if you're not in first after doing that, it's just not worth yeah. it. You get Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, and he, he proved point blank period why it isn't worth to go for. Oh, you're just you gonna did not out say anyway. point blank period. <laughs> I did point blank period. Oh my god, we got we got a giver in this cast, huh? Oh, we do. Indeed, we do. <laughs> is that a reference that I don't know about? Yeah, point blank period is a JP Givener thing. Oh god, oh, I did not know. <laughs> well, shout out JP Givener, I guess, incidentally. Yeah, geez, I guess. Yeah, I guess so. Can't can't hurt to shout out. Yeah, I love seeing Bone Dry come out. I'm a I'm a Bone Dry enjoyer for sure. Yeah, we got yeah, Kevo in a pretty good position right now. Gonna use two shrooms to get through the cut here. Yeah, and, and another one. Another oh, he's big. Oh, yeah, there wow. we go. Okay. Two reds coming in. That's a really, really good That's... pull. Oh wow. Whoa! Our kingdom was in top two. four and yeah. Kevo just killed all of them. Yeah, wow. They're all gone. I mean, oh, they're still man. in Q3 core, but... They are mad AF right now. <laughs> look at how far ahead Kevo is. Yeah, look at that! Like, single-handedly took out a top four, and he's this far yeah. ahead now. Yeah. Stopping stopping at that box while dodging was obviously really worth it, because he pulled two reds when they were in top four, and he got to take out two of them with those reds. Absolutely. And then I think probably starring one of them, if I had to guess. Oh! Uh, inching forward. Five, Six, I think, from Arcanum. I think they had, yeah, they had two. Oh, okay, two, five, what? six, eight, yeah. ten, eleven. Definitely a win for TRP yeah. there. Yeah, that's a win for TRP. That might that might just tie it up, or at least come close to it. We'll have to see. I think it will. Actually, it was only plus eight. So. Oh wow! Yeah. Only after, only after eight. eight after eight races, uh, Arcanum is still up by eight points, but <laughs> TRP definitely has momentum right now. Mm -hmm. I, if I'm Arcanum after that race, I'm mad as hell. I'm so yeah. mad. Yeah. <laughs> I was a like, clear throw on a top. We four were right we now. were in top four, like not we, like we. If I'm Arcanum right now, like Arcanum yeah. was in top right. four, and then Kevo just dodges in fifth, pulls two reds, and kills all four of them. Yeah. See, what's really interesting to me is kind of the uncoordinated track picks, where like everyone's kind of like, oh, you know, I'm just gonna kind of pick what I'm best at. That's kind of what I'm thinking is is whatever. Yeah, Kevo's really best at Baby Park, obviously. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's just like you're hoping for a little bit of luck on all these tracks. So mm. I'm wondering why there's a bunch of different tracks on the board. There's one, two, uh, three, four, five, six different tracks on the board right now. Going to TikTok, uh, pretty good for one, three, four. Um, first can go for the mid path, and so can like one of the two people in three, four. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So if TRP plays this right, they should be able to get into a top two here. Yeah, it definitely requires a little bit of coordination to be able to break away on this track, but it is possible. Let's see how TRP opts to play this. All I could do some work here as well. Mm -hmm. Try to spoil that plan. Mm -hmm. And he does a little bit with that little nudge. Yeah, Ollie's Ollie in first. Ollie in first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kevo not getting an item and Ollie pulling up to the front right away. Yeah, insane. That plan didn't really end up working. Um, Ali doesn't have protection anymore, though. Why did Kevo... he back the green? That's insane. I don't know. I don't know. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, yeah, it didn't matter. Kevin's in first. Yeah. I was going to say that food that Ali was eating gave him some brain power to get ahead, but obviously if he's backing his protection with mm -hmm. a red behind him, maybe not. Got to go eat some more food. Mm -hmm. True. Got Axel and last for now. Uh, it's a bottom two for Arcanum. Yeah, they're going for shock now for sure. Almost falls off. Stays on though, just barely. Yeah, just kind of. Yeah, both POV. Chilling with Kevo back in eleven. Yeah. Don't know when that happened, but he is. He went from first to eleven, so. Yeah. 
We got Light in second, at least. Light took him out, yeah. No idea who's first right now. Yeah, not seeing much pressure coming out for Light, so it might be safe to assume that's Arcanum in first. Not sure, though. Can never be too sure. Yeah, we, we'll never know until we see something happen here. Obviously, the guy in first, whoever it is, has not been hit out yet. Blue coming out, though. Yeah. So we got Kevo and Hydra up here. Diego as well. Ooh, Kyo no box. Ooh, the last no box. That's real rough for Kevo. Oh, and if he gets hit by these greens, too. Sheesh. Yeah, okay. Oh, wow. Okay, still, okay, okay. Still somehow holds his spot in 5-6. Oh, gets oh I think someone got trailed on the line oh. there. Yeah. One three, one, four, three four, six. six for Arcanum. Good race for them. Yeah, that's the comeback they needed. Um, Before this race, yeah. Arcanum was still up, but they had lost the past three. So any kind of yeah. momentum they can get back, it's really, really, really good for them right now. So yeah, Arcanum absolutely. now up 18 after nine. Yeah, that was a plus 10 right there. Very good race. Going into race 10, it's anyone's game at this point. Yeah. I mean, we're at the point where the score could be flipped in one race still. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And we're going RMC for TRP and Neo for Arcanum. And Neo, Neo has been historically very good to Arcanum. Yeah, it has. They played it on the last race in the previous war, and even though we didn't mention it much, Arcanum did get a top four on that race. They did. That they did. Yeah. And we are going to play... NBC, see how this one goes. Yeah, if Arcanum gets a really good race here, they could really begin to close it down. So let's just see how things go. Yeah, three left, up 18. See what they can yeah. do. Best of luck to either team for these last three. It's going to oh, be yeah. a nail biter all the way to the end. Oh, yeah. You, you know, oh, yeah. 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 Axel, not going to get a box. Uh, Hoping not to get hit out at this point. Yeah. Not a whole lot of items up in the front. Comes no in items, first. Just lines. Just Has the way to be expected. To be. Oh, yeah. Even on such a scooty heavy track, he can really break away on a track like this. It's insane. Yeah. I mean, it's not like that scooty heavy. That's true, but the S turn is really tailored towards like sharp, sharp turning vehicles like scooty. Yeah, but I, can I mean, agree with that. you know. Light is going to get hit out a second, so Axel is somewhere in the top four, but who knows who the... Uh... All right, top we do know right it's top TRP. three. Yeah, TRP's not playing games as they know that this is Arcanum's track pick. Yeah, Foul opting to go real slow with these greens, hoping to trail Axel. Lag coming in is a factor. We'll see if... Yep, there we go. Right, Axel runs right into him. Light coming up in fourth. Blue coming out for Kevo. I'm going to assume Light he doesn't have a There was a horn. Up. Yeah, the top three for TRP, but looks like Arcanum is everything after. Ali used his dodge, so that leads me to believe Arcanum doesn't have a shock right now. It's looking pretty good for TRP, yeah, and he's going to get fired as well. Yeah, it looks like a top four right now for TRP. Something needs to happen. Whoever that Waluigi yeah. is in the back needs to be pulling a shock. Yeah, yeah. they're really going to need that shock. Blue coming out. That's going to target uh, Kevo. The triple, sh the triple nanas from Emilio. Nothing's gonna break that top four right now. And getting hit by the balloon doesn't help. Yeah, definitely not. Shock now if there is one, and there won't be a shock. This is real good for TRP. Wow, a lot of greens rolling around right now. A lot of little guys coming out. Oh yeah, quite Ooh, a really good, good race for TRP. It looks like a top, top four seven maybe. Yeah, top, top four, four six. six eleven. Very good race. That'll put them back in the that's lead. That's gonna do it. TRP is now winning. Yeah. It was a plus twenty-eight race. TRP is up ten left. Yeah, it truly is anybody's game. On Arcanum's track pick, getting a top four or six. That's insane. Yeah, uh, Arcanum really needed a shock there, and it it didn't seem like anyone was really going for it until lap three. Yeah. <clears throat> they needed to send someone back there and they just didn't do it until it was too late mm -hmm. so Arcanum opting for a beggar and 
the Hyrule pick from TRP. Yeah. The Hyrule pick could put it in the bag for TRP right here, but they're not going to get it. It's going to be one more race of a bit of randomness first. Yeah, man, definitely. Arcanum really needs to be winning this race. Um, even if it's technically possible to win on race 12, like, I wouldn't count on it. Arcanum needs to be gaining some points back right now. Yeah, definitely they do. Axel going to be pulling up into the front. He's in first for now. And going to get the double as well. So pretty strong position from him to start off here. Absolutely. Yeah, that's always kind of awesome. something that's going to be happening on Excitebike. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And Axel looks like he's going to keep first around that cut. Yeah. My bad. I sneezed. Oh, bless you. Thank you. <laughs> I'm glad I muted in time. It didn't give me the sound effect. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, I didn't hear it. <laughs> okay, good, good. It, yeah, was, it, was a, it was kind of a little girl sneeze, you know? <laughs> I, I, I feel it. I feel it. Achoo. Achoo. You know the type. I do. Anyway, I do. top two for Arcanum. Mm -hmm. Top two. Pana coming up, putting some pressure on him. Oh! Ooh. Oh! Okay, 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 okay. Very close call, though. Um, and Diego's yeah. gone. Uh, just yeah, Axel is gone. Now. I think Light's up here as well in third, but Pana is right behind him. Who's out? Uh, yeah. Stop. Yeah. yeah. Pana dodge it. Drop, oh! Dropping out, oh! but the banana snipe coming in. Was that a smart I mean, player or not? I mean... He's just going to get blued anyway now, right? Yeah, it's hard to say. Oh, okay. Where did the blue oh, go? Man. Okay, I saw I saw Pana with a horn. Hydra. Oh man, the horn coming in and a ghost. God, look at how tight yeah. this pack is. Yeah, man. What is happening? Yeah. Hit Emilio. Hit him. Hit him. Hit, hit someone. Hit someone. Oh man, that, oh. that looks like, look like a one five or a top two five for Arcanum. Yeah, top, top two, two five. five. Ten eleven should be a slight yeah. win for Arcanum yeah, here. Yeah, hard to say. Hard to say. God, that race was hard to tell what was happening. Yeah, literally. It's always Eight. hard to catch the... It's a two-point race. Oh, man. Two-point two point difference going into Eight the... Eight-point race. Two-point difference going into the last, uh, last race. So, like, yeah, TRP is up, but really, like, whoever wins this race is winning the war. Exactly. We got a hyper-agility format coming in here. I would, have, I would, I would love to see a, a, a tie come out right now. Oh, my God. Can you imagine? Be, yeah, having to cast a fourth match. Sheesh. I don't, I don't want to cast a fourth match. Well, this is our fourth match. Oh, <laughs> we yeah. We you before this. Yeah, literally. We've been at it for hours, Miles. We indeed have. <laughs> so, um, interesting choice from Arcanum, letting their members pick whatever track they want. Yeah. What are we going to see come out? It's going to be TM, a track that has gone TRP's way in uh, both previous wars, I think. Yeah, definitely. So, I mean, that's not proof. That's not proof that it's going to go that way this time around. But, yeah, man. 100%. Yeah, TM finishing it off. It's going to be really hard to say how this is going to end. Yeah, I mean, it all does come down to this, doesn't it? Yeah. Gonna get the trail off on someone. I think it was from TRP. Yeah. Making quick work in this pack. Going wide for the double. Unfortunately, the double wasn't there, so he just, you know, went wide for a single. Maybe down to eighth for now. He's in a pretty good position to catch up, though. Gonna want some more coins, though. Boomerang is definitely a powerful item to have in this position. Don't want to accidentally hit Ale. He's going to get hit by the fire. Eee, very scary. Boomerang coming out. Take him out, take it's him out. Hit. Oh, it's nice. Gonna nice. It's going to be a trail out too. Two. 
Oh, uh, hitting can. the wall, losing some time there. Yeah, definitely. Oh, oh. and get oh. Axel can't go one race without getting hit out of any spot, man. I think, I think, I think, I think that Arcanum's in first right now. Unless Diego passed him on the cut, it should be Keo in first right now. Yeah, it's hard to say, but Ale is getting messed up in the mid-pack, as we can see from the Warrior just spitting out quite a bit. And Kevo stuck in last for now as well. Yeah. Holding the shroom. Yeah, on a on a track like this, it's, it's very... not a very bad position to, to be in, but there's quite a few uh, arcanum in the back here. The we decision to hold those triple shrooms, it's a... Uh... It's a decision for sure. It's a bit we can see Axel, Axel is lighter up in the front, so... Look Actually, that's my mistake. Going my right mistake. into Axel it. In the back. If they had a shock, it would come out right now. I don't yeah, I'm, think I'm gonna they say have there's it. no shock on either side. Yeah. Yeah, no shock for be either to team right now. Diego out. getting farmed! Bottom two for Arcanum. E, oh, bottom no, three, bottom three. Possibly. Looking really bad right here. Oh, man. I Actually, I don't know who the Waluigi's are. I think maybe Keo kept his spot the whole time? I'm yeah, not like sure. That's, that's but that's team. not going to be enough, I don't e think. Yeah. yeah. Top two, five, six, go. seven for TRP. TRP closing it out on the last race. Coming down to the wire. Very, yeah. very, 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 very close war. Yeah, it was. Very well played. Very really well played from both sides. It ends up being a top, uh, plus 20 for TRP. That was an 18-point yeah. last yeah. race. We were on the edge of our seat for that entire best of three series. Really came down oh, yeah. to the wire. Literally came down to the last race. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. The first two wars were both blowouts, but that one was literally... Within two points on race eleven, exactly. so, so so close. Very very entertaining war when it mattered most. And there you have it. TRP is going to be your runners assemble champions. Congratulations, TRP. Congrats to TRP. Have... Okay, there we go. And we got a little announcement for you guys. Uh, MKU primetime for tomorrow. If you want to switch to the scene, we have H. Delino versus Star Clan Ruby. Some Division 2 action. We'll yeah. see you there at 4 p.m. EDT. There you go. Yeah. Hope to see well, you all. Once again, thanks for checking us out. And we will see you next time. See you next time. And congratulations once again to TRP for the win. Congratulations, you guys. See ya.